What's up y'all? Welcome to Game Day with Heavy Cardboard where we teach, play, and discuss medium and heavy strategy board games, war games, 18xx. I'm your host, Edward Euler. Happy to be joined by my partner and some very good friends. I'm Jess. I'm Shrey. And I'm Martin. Alright, today we are bringing y'all Throne of Allegoria, designed by Robin Lees and Steve McKenzie and published by Spielworks. Now, Spielworks also very kindly provided us with this prototype of the game and also sponsored a playthrough both of which allowed us and helped us be able to bring it to y'all tonight. So big thanks to Uli over at Spielworks, who apparently isn't joining us tonight because in his words, I'm an old man and it's late. <laughs> so all right, Uli, hopefully you watch this after the fact. And speaking of which, welcome everybody watching live as well as everyone after the fact. Before we get started, a big, big thank you to all of our patrons who help support the show. And actually, without them, we can't then partner up with folks like Spielworks to then be able to bring this to you. So a big thank you to all of our patrons. Special shout out to Chad Gambone. Uh, say thanks for being a patron, supporting the show, as well as being a part of our local game group. A uh, quick reminder that if you enjoy the content that we are uh, providing to y'all, don't forget to subscribe down below, uh, as well as maybe throw a thumb our way. If you want to go a step further, you can go to pledgehc.com, support the show there. And there's the podcast. The podcast just released our SM preview with my guest host, Rado. So check that out over at heavycardboard.com. Six hours of SM goodness. <laughs> All right. So uh, before we get started, a uh, quick reminder, this is a prototype. Uh, it looks very good, but you'll see some of the bidding tokens that we have have stickers on them and just handwritten numbers on it. So keep that in mind. Everything else is subject to change. This is going to be releasing next week at Spiel or at Essen, however you want to call that, will be there next week. That said, it is a prototype, so everything else, I haven't seen what the final anything looks like, so please keep that in mind. That said, Throne of Allegoria. Uh, simple mechanisms, uh, but uh, but uh, definitely some compelling gameplay in there. So I'm ready. Are you ready? Ready. Fellas? Yep. Mm -hmm. And hopefully everybody watching at home is ready. Let's get into Throne of Allegoria. So the queen is dying. She is not dead yet, but she is dying here in the land of Allegoria. And each of us have our own little territories, and we're going to try and help ourselves a little bit better between now and the time she dies, as well as possibly after she passes away. So that's kind of the theme <coughs> on what we're looking at. <coughs> Martin's trying not to die. You okay over there? All right. So uh, big picture, what is it we're trying to do? Well, we're trying to score victory points. They'll be tallied up here at the end of the game, uh, depending on how we do in the various aspects of this game. Now, how do you go about getting victory points, well, it's all going to be accumulated, or well, most of it's going to be accumulated throughout the game and tallied at the end. But we're going to be doing various actions as well as battling out here on the various battlefields and predominantly moving up these tracks within our own uh, home boards as well as completing in the game, during the game, goal cards, as well as end game goal cards. Those are predominantly where your victory points are going to come from. So that said, let's give an overview on what it is that you're looking at here on the main boards. So over on the left hand board to start with, at the very top we have uh, the round track. So the queen is alive, so the queen is standing up right there. If she were to pass away during the uh, game, we will lay her down. As you can see, the game is going to take place over six rounds. Then over on the far right, top right corner is the Royal Decree card space. So we're going to read either the top or the bottom and it'll be a universal rule breaker or a game changing state depending on whether the queen's alive, we'll read the top, the queen has passed away, we'll read the bottom. Over on the left side there are the in-game cards. 
I, I hate using that word because it sounds a lot like end game, but the during the game goal cards that we will be uh, trying to complete is here as well as the claim space or the bidding spaces for that action. Then uh, the bidding space is here for the various uh, workforce cards and the workforce actions are here. There are going to be five uh, any one time and then there's going to be a I split you choose mechanism that brings them from up there to down here. Then over here on the right hand board or the main board, in the top left corner we have the anarchy track up here and then we also have the alms track. Alms for the poor, sir. Then we have the other five actions in this game. There are a total of seven action spaces. One, two, three through seven. In addition to that, we have the amount of actions that we're going to be able to take depending on player count. Four players, it's going to correspond to that column there. And obviously the same goes here for us taking the during the game goal cards. Then we have the traveling merchant card. There are going to be uh, one card per round that will uh, talk about the different exchange rates as we go along. Down below we have the diplomacy track that we may be moving up. And then the main part of the main board over here has to do with the various territories. So everybody's home territory and they can be anywhere, like I could have chosen that one up there. They are asymmetric. They're just closer to where the players actually are. Every player has their own battlefield, their own tavern, and their own marketplace. In addition to that, there are the common tavern, the common battlefield, and the common marketplace, as well as obviously everybody having their own home territory. So that's everything on the main boards. Then in our own tableaus here, as you can see there. On our home board, we have five different tracks which correspond to the five main actions here in the game having to do with uh, soldiers, spies, merchants, bankers, and scholars the five corresponding tracks. Then everybody has their own, uh, their own workers or their own, uh, depending on what they are when they go out here on the board, whether they are soldiers, spies, or merchants. We, everybody has 10 of those. Then everybody has the same identical five, a uh, set of five cards, which are going to be placed down here to be able to uh, activate special actions, these guild cards here. And obviously you have room for two of those there. Everybody also has five, I'm sorry, six bidding tokens. And again, this is where the prototype nature of this game comes in. So as you can see, there are two zero tokens, bidding tokens, there are two one tokens, there is one two token, and then there is an asterisk or a wild token, which can be only either a one or a two bid value. And last but not least, everybody also has a die in their color. Now, again, this is a prototype, so these are regular six-sided dice. How these will be is, for, our intent, for all intents and purposes, for our playthrough, the five and the six space will count as zeros because they only range from zero to four, as it were. So keep that in mind, fives and sixes will be zeros. Then everybody has a small selection of starting cards. There are end game bonus cards here. There are five of those. We, at, before the game starts, we are going to choose to keep three of them and discard two. Then there are the, uh, call it your house cards. This is what your role is going to be, the lord or lady cards here. Everyone starts with their choice of two. They will choose one. It's going to be an asymmetric starting position and they'll turn it face up and it'll be something something of the house Rosalie, etc, etc. So we'll choose one of these, then we'll chose, choose three of those and then we will begin play. So that's everything that you're looking at, but how do you play the game? Now, the game does come with a pretty extensive and very good player aid here. However, the only downside to this is there are a lot of actions that are available on any given turn depending on what it is that you want to do. Each action has three available actions or each, um, call it, each selected action out here, you will have any mix of three options available. And honestly, they're similar enough 
but different enough to where I feel like it would be getting a little lost in the weeds if we went over all of these in detail right now. So what we're going to do is I'm going to give a high level for each of these five, and then when we actually take the actions during the game, we'll go over those in depth. So without further ado, let's talk about how the game actually plays. The game takes place over six rounds, as you can see there. The exact same uh, steps in this game uh, are followed in each of the six rounds. Now, the game has, it says there are four phases in each round. There's a reset phase, a planning phase, an actions phase, and a cleanup phase. But in all honesty, the reset phase at the beginning and the cleanup phase are kind of redundant. So we're going to, for all intents and purposes, call it three phases. The first phase being the planning phase. So what we're going to be doing is everybody has six bidding tokens or action tokens available to them. What they're going to be doing is on their turn, if I am the first player, here, then I will choose one of these in secret to place in any of the seven available actions. So again, we have five here, we have one for the workforce cards and one for the during the game uh, uh, victory or uh, goal cards there. So I choose one in secret and I put it down here. Then on Jess's turn, she will choose one of hers in secret. Maybe she chooses there. Shrey then chooses one. And then Martin chooses another. And if he so desired to compete against here in the merchant action, it, uh, it, there are four columns, four players, et cetera, et cetera. You'll notice that each of these shows three available, not, not, not three like that, but three, three available bidding tokens, i.e. the maximum tiles that you can bid on a single space are three, but in any given single action, you're only gonna be putting out one. So in other words, we're going to go around the table in clockwise order, placing one around for six rounds until we are all done and all six are out. The important thing to note, zeros are blanks. They are merely bluffs. They are no value. So in other words, if I were to bid here and then whenever we resolve, just bid a one, I bid a zero, I didn't actually bid in that space. I just bluffed to maybe make her waste more bidding actions to bid there. So when we get to activating this action, that will actually come off and I won't actually get to take the action. Does that make sense? Yep. Yeah. All right. So we're going to place them out. One, two, seven. That is the planning phase. Then we're going to go into the actions phase. The action phase resolves in the exact same order each round. We go one, two, three through seven. So whoever bids here, it's not the amount that you bid total here. It is how you did in context or in relation to your opponents. So for instance, if I bid one there, and let's say that Jess had bid a total, she had bid that, and ended up like this. I bid one, Jess bid three. All that, ma all that, that means is the order of activation is now going to go this, then this. We're going to look at this chart. It says she's going to draw three of the during the game goal cards. She may keep up to one of them. Whoever's in second, three, one, two, one, two, one, et cetera, et cetera. Now the reason, and I will grab one of these, and the reason you might only may keep up to one is because they are worth some amount of victory points, as you can see here. But if you do not complete them by the end of the game, they are worth minus three points, as you can see there, and English and German there. So use three Joker workforce cards on the same deploy action in the same turn. So what that means is the moment you actually trigger that, you do it, you then flip it over, you play it to your tableau, say, hey, I just did umpty umpty ump, I did it. Here, I'm going to score two points at the end of the game. So you're, you're good to go, you're off the hook for the negative three. Does that make sense? Good, mm -hmm. easy enough, we're gonna move on. This one, sorry, this space here has to do with the I cut, you choose mechanism down here. These workforce cards, I'll talk about what they do in a little bit, but there are six different suits or types of workforce cards. You'll notice that the icons in the bottom right hand and bottom left hand corner correspond to the five main actions out here. And there happens to be also a sixth one, which is a joker, as you might could guess, yes, 
it's wild. All right, these range from one to three in value. Whoever is first, not because they place first, but the highest bid here, and all ties are broken uh, left to right order. So in other words, if Trey bid a one here, if it had been something along the lines, uh, let's say there, Jess would bid first, or I'm sorry, Jess would actually take the action first, then Shrey would, because left or right, then I would. Whoever is last in this case, I also should back up, I'm sorry, uh, the lowest bid here also will become the first player of the next round. It's easy to forget that. There's no iconography. I apologize for overlooking that. Thank you, it's right there, the first place. Thank you, it's small. <laughs> here, whoever is in last place, actually cuts these, meaning they are going to choose how to put these out. So maybe on my turn, I look and I say, hey, I want that there, I want that there, I'm going to put that, and I'll drop those there. You'll notice that there are three distinct buckets of cards. One, two, and three. So in this case, Jess being the highest bid, she would choose one bucket first, and she gets to keep both of the cards. The reason she gets to keep both of the cards is because her bid was at least two. So let's say for argument's sake, Jess chooses this bucket. She would then put those into her hand and there's that. Now it becomes Shrey's turn. Now even though he is second, he does not get to, if he chooses this bucket, He's going to take both of the cards, but one of them have to be discarded. He only gets to keep one because his bid was only a value of one. If it had been a bid of two or higher, he would then be able to keep both cards. Obviously, if you choose the last bucket, there's only one card to choose, so you get to keep it. So let's say he says, you know what, I really want this one, so he keeps that. This would get discarded, which then means I am left with this one. Oh, hey, I choose that, and that would add into my hand. Easy enough. Those are the first two actions, and those are the only two that I'm going to go over in detail as I did. The next five resolve the exact same way. Again, ties broken left to right, highest bid. However, I'm going to point this out here. It shows that if you are first, you get to take any three action value or any three action points worth of either a deploy or a task action. I will pause for a moment and now point this out as to what that means. Each action or each groups of actions, so the soldier here you'll notice has two deploy actions with this symbol on it and each other one or the third one is always a task action with that icon next to it. So you'll notice that out here on the main board it's three actions, any mix that you choose. If you are second, again, talking about a four-player game, you either can take two, task, uh, two deploy actions or one task action, okay? If you are third, you can take any one action. If you are fourth, you can only take the deploy action. You can't even take the task action. Regardless of what you bid, if you are fourth in bidding amount, then you cannot take the task action mm -hmm. for the respective actions. Does that make sense? Yep. All right. So now what we're going to do very briefly is talk about these first three actions. There are two deploy actions for each of them, as you see here, and one task action. The deploy actions are very easy. The deploy says you can take one of your meeples and put it out into their respective spot, whether it's a soldier action, a spy action, or a merchant action. So if I, if I were do, resolving this, a soldier one, it would be put a soldier out. In addition to that, if I had any soldier cards, uh, workforce cards that were in my uh, hand, I then could play any number of mix of soldier cards and or jokers. So even though I only get to place one, if I had a hand of five, there is no hand limit. If I had five soldier cards and or jokers, and that allowed me to move up seven spaces, well, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, boom, done. That is placing from here out there. And that's the same whether it's the soldier, the spy, or the merchant. The Second deploy action is going to be moving soldiers either from your home territory out into the neutral area, and the amount you can move is based on where this marker is. So you'll notice now, if I had two out here, I'm allowed to move two from here 
out to there. If they were already there, I can then move them from here to one of my opponent's battlefields at that point. And that is a maximum that you can move for one action point. And that is the exact same whether it's soldier, uh, spy, or merchant, okay? And then the last one is a task action, which is going to be a little bit more complex. This is an attack action here. Uh, if they're soldiers, there is a subterfuge action for spies and a commerce action for merchants. I'm not gonna go over those though. When we actually take those actions, we'll go over them then. The banker action, which is this one here, for the most part, the banker and the scholar, the last two, don't have to do with a lot of stuff out here. It has to do with your tracks here. The banker says discarding any amount of banker cards to be able to move up the banker track. So the wealth track, easy enough. The exception to that rule that I just talked about is the next one, which is the second deploy action for the banker here. It says use the advance, the sneak, or the caravan action as if it were those actions. So what does that mean? Moving people from here to there or here out to the various spaces. Then again, there is a task action which is going to allow you to play these cards out to here, which then corresponds with your wild bidding token there. I suppose I had to talk about this one a little bit in depth. The grant action says you can spend one additional action point, two total, to then be able to choose one of your five special rule breaker guild cards to then play it into your tableau. If you then play it into your tableau like so, anytime you use this bid token and you declare it is a one value as opposed to a two value, you then can activate any one card, guild card that's in your tableau and do whatever the guild card allows you to do. Lastly, the scholar action here is, again, allows you to discard any amount of scholar uh, workforce cards or jokers to be able to move up the track, draw the top card from the workforce deck, or advance one on the alms track. So the alms track here does nothing except when you hit these three spaces, advance one on the diplomacy track, advance one track of your choice, draw one workforce card. They do nothing else except whenever you advance on the alms track, you're going to be able to get rid of anarchy. I'll talk about that in a moment. And finally, it's worth five victory points at the end of the game. Now, one of the actions, whenever you are moving up this here, let me try that again. Anytime you take the spy action, which is subterfuge, you're going to be able to move up here, which is going to be a multiplier for the amount of during the game cards that you have scored for end game scoring. The last thing I'll talk about before we get started is anarchy and bonus actions. At any given time on these five, whenever you take an action, you can choose to drop your track down one or possibly multiple spaces for that many then additional actions. So if this were where it is here and I'm taking the soldier action and maybe let's say I'm second so I would get maybe two deploy actions. So I put two out there, done. But then I say, hey, I'm going to spend one more action to then take another deploy action or an advance. And because of where this is, I can move two to there. That costs me one of those tracks or moving, bumping back one space. I can then do it again if I want to take one of the three available actions. However, any time that you voluntarily move this back to be able to take additional actions past these lines, these breaks, you then are going to take an anarchy. These anarchy tokens, whenever you take them, are going to go into the bottom of your board. They're going to be worth negative points at the end of the game based on the highest taken number of anarchy. So if all of those are gone and say two of these are gone, each anarchy marker is going to be worth minus two points at the end of the game. However, advancing on the alms track will then allow you to remove or replace, get rid of one anarchy. And there are other things during the game that will possibly give you more anarchy, but we'll cover those as we go along. We're going to go through this six times. At the end of all that, there is a reset phase, which is we're going to discard the merchant card 
and flip up the new one. We're going to discard the Royal Decree, flip up a new one. Any existing workforce cards will be wiped. We will put out five new ones. We will advance the turn marker there. And then we'll do that six times. Then we'll go into end game scoring. And here, I'll bring it over here. End game scoring is your guild cards, meaning have you played guild cards to your tableau, zero, two, or four points. In game claims, i.e. those blue cards as I showed you earlier, end game claims, so those are worth a max of five points each, so if you've reached all of those, those can be work worth up to 15. Unfulfilled claims, meaning those blue cards, the minus three, how many of those? The diplomacy track is that multiplier, as I mentioned here, based on the number of in-game cards that you've scored. So if it were here at the four, it would be four times the number of cards. So if I completed three, that would be worth 12 additional points. The alms track, if you reach the end, is worth five. Anarchy track, as I mentioned, minus points based on the value and how many anarchy cubes you have. And then influence tokens. There are influence tokens that can be acquired. Those are victory points. So if you get any influence tokens throughout the game, you just hold on to them. Those are victory points. Then you're going to score where you are on each of your five tracks. The victory point numbers at the very top, obviously minus one point, zero, one, two, three, or five, if your marker ends up there at the end of the game. Whoever has the most points wins and has to call, take all of their completed uh, goal cards, both in game and end of game, Put your name and read it all together, and that is your title to go down to live in, hopefully, history or infamy, depending on how nasty you were. And that's how you play Throne of Allegoria. Any questions? Good. We'll move on. Here we go. Let's reset the board, please. All right. Sure. Cool. There. Um, nope. You got all four space? Yeah, that works. Okay. So we got those five out. What uh, I probably need my bid tokens back. Place your bets. Over under on Glory to Realms is going to be two and a half. It's not going to be terribly high, I don't think. Uh, before we get started, oh, yes. Ooh, thank you. Uh, everybody needs to look at these two to decide on the what their thing. name Huh? I think it's the way around. I was looking at the rules as we were going past, and you choose these first. Oh, I apologize. You choose your five three end five. game, or three of the five. Thank you. And if we get anything wrong, the designer's going to tell us off. Anyways. Yeah, Robin's in chat. Oh, hi, Robin. All right, cool. Excellent. All right. We will see you here soon. So if everybody will look down and focus on your own cards, I will go ahead and share this with the folks at home so that you guys can follow along on what I'm choosing. So here are my five, I will lay them out. Notice it's minus three if you don't complete them. So here we go. I'm not gonna read them out loud. I'm going to allow you guys to take a look at what they are and I will choose three of these. Tough. Okay. And, uh, when it says influence, that's victory points, that is, real quick, that is going to be these numbers based up here on the various tracks, okay? So, for stuff like this and this. Well, I think I'm going to go with these two for sure. The question is, do I go with one of those? or go a little bit tough. You know what? I think I'm gonna go with those three there, which means I'm gonna discard these, okay? And these three are my end game goals now, okay? So the other ones are discarded out of the game. Everyone has chosen, if you guys have chosen, now that you know what my end of game goals, now we're going to look at my possibility, who I am, and you know, here we go. So, I'm, everyone continue to look down. So I will move these there so that you can see these. So this 
here corresponds well with that. Um, however, that corresponds well with that, but I think I'm going to go here. And it's not because I can't pronounce that. The Ecclesiast, I can pronounce it for those at home. I'm just choosing not to. So there we go. So now that I've chosen, so here we go. I am the theologian of House Rosalie. And now this is going to set what my uh, asymmetric starting is. So I move up two bumps. So it's going to be two there, two there, two there, and one, two, three, and four there. That's where I'm starting. Done. The other one is discarded out of the game. And if you will hmm. set those over yeah. there, please. All right. Uh, Martin, who are you? I'm the artist of House Culverlux or Lulvacux or something. It's kind of hard to tell between the C and an L on these. Okay. And I move have that profile to begin with. And Shrey? I am the Lady of House Umbral. All right. And I start with a meeple, a spy. Yes. There we go. Mm. J-Rex? This is interesting. Ah. They're both good. I'm going to go with the host of House and Tear Antares. Okay. All right. And set your starting up. Mm hmm I know. I wish there was a jarhead of, but Middle Ages wouldn't really work, Matt. Welcome, everybody. All no, right. I'll do that right. This one's nothing. One, two. Uh... Do you, did you bring your deck of cards? Well, I did. I realized I didn't bring a suitably thematic one. I've got a medieval uh, one, and I forgot you, to bring you it. You had a bit of a day, so yeah, I understand. Yeah, I did have a bit of a day. You, you okay. did, so there we go. So there All we right. go. So, because Martin's here. Ace is high. Bridge suits. Five of spades. Seven of spades. Uh, queen, queen of, of diamonds. diamonds. And there we go. So Shrey yep. will go first. Yep. Thank, Thank you. you. So... You know what? I just realized that I did not bring my, uh, I am a terrible, terrible human being. What's that? Oh, first play, Malika. There we go. All right. Okay, so now we begin. 736. Let's see how we do. So Shrey. we flip this and we flip this. Correct. Right. So the yep. traveling merchant, the reason this is going to matter is going to be for the merchants. Whenever we get out either here or into an opponent's one, you can convert tracks. Okay, as well as possibly victory points. So we have the first event. Martin, because, I mean, Middle Ages and British... Royal points. Decree. Good omen. When a player scores an, an in-game claim, in-game claim blue this one. round, yes. blue one, they take one influence. Oh. Okay, so that will be for the round. So that might mm. influence us, see what I did there, to go to that location. So that said, now that we have done that, uh, Sh uh, Shrey, you're up. Yep, I'm just getting my bid markers. Oh, shoot. Uh, workforce cards. I believe we do. Yes, we you, do. We do start with yeah, some. We do. Of Ew. Course. I, I am a terrible setter upper. So, a moment while we do that. Good call. Um, I bad. am looking. I think it's three. I think it's three. I, everybody, I believe so. Looking there, Lord, there. Workforce, three. Everybody should have three workforce cards. There we go. So, thank you. Martin. Okay. And these and your oh. in and end of game cards are uh, our hidden information. All right. Okay. So we're good? Yep. Well. That was right Seth's there. confused about stating. The starting position. No, they look, look they look correct. I don't think they look correct. Um, everyone has asymmetrical starting. Yeah. Seth, so, so everyone took what their person gave them. If that's what you're looking for okay. on the board, he gets two, 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 four. two. Oh, it is wrong. Oh, that's why. Thank okay, you. He's looking at Good call. Thing. You're right. Yep. I did the same thing and had to fix it because I went mm -hmm. in order. They're color coded and the symbols it's are very, very clear. clear. But I, I also did the same thing. My bad. Good it's catch. Okay. Good yeah, job. Good Way catch. to be on the ball, Seth. 
you're hired. I was like, what? There you Seth said. Right. doing his best Christopher impression. All right. <laughs> so, uh, Shrey, go ahead and start your bidding. So I placed a, <laughs> All right. I placed a bid in the uh, in games in game claim space. The, uh, the blue ones. The blue ones. In and end. I, am I wrong that they sound similar? You're not wrong. Right? So, there you go. All right. So I need... That's mm. fine. So everyone has two zeros, two ones, a two, and a oh, quote unquote wild. That's going to be good. And then that one again. Jess? That one coming. Really? So, Robin, the teacher, all right? I realize. All the actions I didn't go over in detail, but we'll go over it as we resolve them this round and subsequent rounds. Wow. Competition mm -hmm. for the blue cups. Yep. Well, because the extra victory Roll point, right? Yeah. Yep. Oh, I was just followed the rule of don't do what everybody else is doing. <laughs> is that a rule? It's one of my meta rules for it games. Is. Try and do what other people aren't doing. I know your worker placement rule. Get more workers. <laughs> yep. All right. Um, a moment while I... Yeah, I think I am going to stick to my original plan here, which is going to be that. So good to have a plan. Would be good, oh, but that's not good. Mm. Remember, you can have up to three on a single action. Okay. Oh, good. Thanks, Robin. Yeah, final scoring cards instead of end game. That, that that's a good way to put it, Matt. Switch that one up instead. What do I need? <laughs> mm. Christopher says, "Oh, good. I'm still nursing bruised ribs from getting a cold earlier this week." Dude, that is a serious cold, by the way, but I could coffin. use the time off. So, Seth, you were temporarily replacing Christopher. Since, but feel better, Christopher. Bruised ribs, oof. That's what I'm saying. So max you're going to be able to take are four actions per round, and there are seven available actions because two of them are bluffs, remember. Mm, hold on. You know what, actually, I'll go there. Mm. I think I'll put this one here. Hey, Chad. Uh, what do we want to do with this last one? Yes, yeah, so it probably would be a better rule to just do whatever Jess does. But unfortunately, I can't <laughs> see her numbers, so it's hard to mimic her very accurately in this game. And you're always allowed to look at your own if you want, but I'm going to try and uh, play the heavy cardboard version and not do that tonight. No chance. <laughs> <laughs> I can even look at them and still forget what I put down. I tried that last time. It didn't fare well, so you might want to not do that. <laughs> so especially if I if do... Oh. Got to be there, I think. Okay, so now, uh, sorry, Jess would like to finish placing her. <laughs> now, <laughs> that would be good, yeah. Well, that's the Jess rule, or the handicap. All right, so we're all done, so now we resolve the first spot. That's a one, this is a total of one, a zero and a one, and we have a one. Hey, how about that? All right, so, so that Jess is only going to get to draw two and mm -hmm. keep a max of one, so Shrey's first, top three for you. One, two, three. Two, three, and two. All right, I like so draw zero cards and get all of them. 
There you go. Uh, I can, I can. If everybody looks down, please, and I will go ahead and show everybody. I'm not going to do this every time, but so you guys can see uh, oh, like on. what some options are here. No. Oh, um, oh, oh. Yeah. Yeah. Eh. Eh. I'm probably going to do this at some point anyways, and you'll notice the amount of victory points. Oh. No, um, I think I'm going to keep that one and discard those. I don't have to keep any of them, but I am going to because... Oh, shoot. I just forgot if I'm going to try and take use of the bonus this round. Mm -hmm. Okay, I already broke that rule. Uh, well, I'm going to stick with it, even though I can't do it this round. That stinks. Can we look now? Yes. Thank you. And oh, this seems so bad. Oh, all right. Oh, yeah, and thank you. That is the easiest thing for this us is to forget. Face up, though, or right? to remember, no, Robbie. Got that okay. All the time. First, first player the, uh, will go to Jess. Like, uh, there you go. Yeah, yeah, right. The, uh, the in-game, the during the game, claim, claim cards are the only thing that are face down. The Correct. discard pile. Jess, take your marker and then flip those, Shrey, if you would. We got a two. We got a one, and we got a two. So switch the order of that, and now Martin gets to. I cut, so he gets the cut, mm. while the three of them get to choose. Well, well, well. Yeah, Indeed. I know, Seth. Maybe one day when we uh, are making considerably more than uh, than we do. And if there was a fourth person who played, if, if you went here. Right, and, and they four, wouldn't get to, they would get to draw one off the top. One, one random from the top. Yep. Yeah, okay, okay, so now, Jess. Choose a bucket and keep them both. Mm -hmm. And she can choose. I was so the mean. I was hoping that you'd say that. I know. <laughs> Come on. Well. And the game should play in about ninety minutes, I would say, which is what we're shooting for tonight. It always takes longer on stream. It does, but. but it's what we're shooting for. That's why I was like, <laughs> okay. Essentially, we started at seven forty, so we're gonna try. I like the idea of that being done, though. I split them that way, of course, so that the that Joker's on its own. It's the most attractive card, I reckon. Ah, um, oh, this is so then a painful. Free one, and then mm -hmm. one yeah. that's kind of boring, but. So I get to keep two, but that's really, really annoying. It is, isn't it? But I'm not gonna let you have it. So. Okay. Too bad. And now, Shrey. <laughs> And now Martin gets to keep one of those. That was the only card that I was... And the other one will go out as a discard. Yeah. I'm sure you would have taken, taken the two Joker. Those. Just take it. I would it. absolutely have taken the two Joker. But there He's was like, no the only one I, I wanted was the one. That's all I wanted. I, I, I knew my chances of getting that Joker was zero. So I didn't you know. want that all one. All right, so Martin, two and one, which means Martin's going to get any mix of three actions. Jess, however, even though she only bid one, she's going oh, to either... Oh, Martin, I hate you. either gets the task... Glory to Rome. Okay, well, uh, <laughs> first one, put it up, mark it up. One task or two deploys, her choice. But in addition, mm. don't forget, you can always spend actions for extra actions. I may have undershot already, I see this. Yeah. Okay, so my first... You did. So I get three actions. First one will be to deploy a soldier into my own territory and reveal a card. There, so two and soldiers. And that will send me up two on that track. Um, I will uh, then deploy a second soldier there. Either or, Eric. And then I will move one soldier. I can only move one soldier because one is the level from that influence right. per action. So I'll move it into the center ground. So that's three actions. Are you spending any extras? No. Nope. All right. So that's Martin. J-Rex. So you can move back. As many until you, you hit cross the across threshold. The line. Once you cross so the threshold, two or one. Yeah, unless you unless you're all the way at the top, at then the you end. get three. But yeah, for the most part, if this were here, you could then go one, two. But crossing that threshold will get you an anarchy, and then you have to stop. Correct. And shoot. Where was that? I think it was here. Yeah. It was. All right. Oh, this is ah, really bad. I'm just trying to figure out how I can do what I need to do now. So I can take two actions. Two, or deploy, one. or yeah. one task. Mm. That goes up there. Oh, gosh. 
that's painful. One, two. Hmm. All right, so I'm gonna deploy a soldier. Which they always deploy into your home field. That's one point and Jess can play any number of soldier or joker cards. These. And is the question. You can play them right here, people can see them. Um, but that makes me get an anarchy. Anarchy, there's a reason there's so many anarchy markers. Oh, by the way, I don't want to start with one. <laughs> well, you did win last time, so you yeah, know, a bit still, of a deal. Still, I don't think I want to start with one, all right? I guess I'll play the five. You want me to play yeah, one? no, that's fine. Look so five? Out. Yeah, so one, two, three, four, five. Also should point out, you have to spend these points here before you then can spend those, okay? All right, so that is one action. Second action is place another. And spend shoot. this and place a third, but that means I also can play another card, right? Correct, when you play that out, yep. So that brings me up to one again. Okay. Ah, yes. And I there didn't cross over, so I didn't get didn't cross an anarchy. Yep. Right, didn't cross over her threshold, so she doesn't get the anarchy for spending and it. And I have, oh, never mind. That was totally unworth it. Anticlimactic, read cards better. Okay, noted. <laughs> All right, then we got here. That's a bluff. That's a bluff. Yeah, yeah, okay. Hey, it made him spend something that he didn't want to. So, Martin, there's that. There's that. Yeah, two or a one, Trey. Hey, we'll make it a one. Okay. Well, it, it really yeah, doesn't matter because he doesn't have any yeah. cards in his tableau if yet. I had, if I had something here. Any guild would, cards. Would, yeah. Yeah. So, mm -hmm. so he gets one. three actions? He gets three. All right. Um, I will deploy a spy. I start with one already over there. Uh, and I'll play these cards. There's five more uh, wow. spies, spy cards. So I'm at one, two, three, four, five. Okay. And so, so that was one action to two. place. I started with one. Right, yep. yep. So there's one. Uh, and I have two, three more actions. Let me double check something. Yeah, okay. So second is going to place another one. Two actions. Uh, third is I'm going to move, sneak to the middle. Which he can sneak. I can sneak up to three. You could if you want. Yeah, sure. Let's see. It's always a up to, and that's based on where his marker is. So that's all three actions. Are you taking any bonus actions? I am. I'm going to sneak one more time to. Hmm. Let's sneak to Martin's area. Uh, how many? Oh, oh, uh, uh, just one, just one. As if, as if I'm going to be likely to be your biggest threat in this game, right? <laughs> what fair. are the chances and, of that? And, and uh, you, I have this uh, during game claim card. Use a sneak action twice in the same turn. He did. Oh, Checks out. Right. He gets a point. So it'll be uh, just go and tuck it under your uh, under this, to where okay. just the bottom is yep. visible. There we go. So oh. and because I scored an in-game claim card, I get an influence. So mm. there we go. Like that. Very nice. So then, uh, Martin. Well, easy win for me on that score. It was. So I'm going to put out two merchants into my merchant guild area, which is here. I don't have anything I, I can spend, it. so I'll then do a deploy to move both of them, and I can move two because I'm two on the thing there into the neutral zone merchant area. Did you see that? I have no idea. Uh, I just wanted to deploy another two soldiers she could, as she could take the action twice more before threat. Oh, in other words, if there were more actions that you wanted to take, you could actually take two more actions because you never actually cross the threshold. So earlier, you spent hey. one, right? That was mm -hmm. one, to then be able to put another soldier out and play a card which boosted that. Then you still have two more because you haven't crossed a threshold. Yeah. So, so you I could. could go one, two. Correct. You would take an anarchy for doing that, but you would get two more actions if there's something that you which, wanted to do. Which, if 
Mm, but I can take. Can I take the tax actions though? Yes. Yeah. yeah. Because it's it's a separate action. So I can move two at a time. So I could move as one action two soldiers into well, the central battlefield. So technically, you, you. Oh yeah. Yes. Yeah. Yes. It's and a, you here. You were looking at this. So you. Were I here, was here, so which was still two. One, and then you get you get that movement. So that would allow me to move two to central. If yeah. you wanted to do that. Take an anarchy and move the other one to central. Yeah. There. For apropos of, thank you. All right, so <laughs> just to clarify, so read it. Have what, at what least three it? soldiers on the, I, what? The Liberator, sorry. Have at least three soldiers on the central battlefield. Checks out, there you go. So give her an extra influence. So there you go, thank you, Robin. Um, that, that's that actually up. a really good explanation of how you can actually get more than two yep. like that, okay? Good, all right, so. And I'm, I'm, my claim was, the, I'm the fearless. Thank but you. That's Shh, people theme. <laughs> All right. So now, uh, that that's a double bluff. Yeah. <laughs> a lot of bluffing going on there. That because it worked, it made me put the extra yeah. one yeah. on there, and that'll be a one or a two. So you have to decide when it's declared left or right. So one or two. Don't look at me. I'm not blue. Yes. Um, <laughs> it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. No. Just, okay. But you do have to declare it. Uh, two. All right. So it'll go there and there. Finally, I get to play the game. So uh, I don't think I had. I did not. Okay. So I'm going to get a total of three actions. Uh, I'm going to play a guild card. So it's the first time we're going to see that. That costs two actions. Um, so what these are, uh, here, I'll actually take a second so everybody can see these. Spies Guild, remove one of your own spy uh, soldier or merchant from a territory and replace it with whatever in the same area, whether it's central, someone else's, or your own. Bankers, increase your wealth by two if possible. Each opponent has to reduce their wealth by one. And take an influence for every opponent who can't do this, which everybody could right now. Okay. Uh, increase your strength by one, and your intrigue by one, which is your top uh, your top two tracks. The Merchant's Guild is increase your trade and knowledge, which is your uh, your middle and bottom one, and the Scholar's Guild, which is arguably my favorite one. Draw work first cards plus one from the number of players, i.e. draw five, keep one, and then the other players can purchase one for one wealth if they so desire. And looking at my end game cards, you know what? I'm going to stay on target and do the Scholar's Guild. So Scholar's Guild will go out there. So that was a total of two actions. The others will hang out up here. Uh, and so, my so it takes two actions to put down a guild card. Correct. Yeah. Yes. Uh, and I have a third, which... I have nobody on the board, so I, you know what, I have one action, two actions, I'll take the Anarchy, and I'll play another one. Mm. And I will uh, play the Merchant Skill, which is increase your trade and knowledge by one. Done. That's all my actions. Uh, Jess, you get two actions, two deploys, or one task. Um, so in order for, and this, this task though, under banker requires two. Correct. So it'd be both your actions to play a guild card. I don't know though, but no, it would no. be two task yeah. actions, right? Yes. My reading of it is she'd have to, you, you, you have to be first place in that in order to ever be able to play a card. Yeah. Without spending, without spending from your Is that board. right, Robin? That basically you have to spend from your pool to... Increase your task unless you're first in wealth. Yeah, that's that's how I read that. I don't think so. I, I don't read it that well, way. We, we do I have really don't. Yeah, source, but I'd read it that new, way as well. Robin. So it's it's under task, right? The, right. Uh, so here's what it says. Here, I'll I'll show everybody at home what the confusion is on this. Task action: the grant. Spend one additional action point. In other words, you just spend. Two action point. Oh, I see what you're saying. The fact that you can only spend. Oh, mm. Yeah. Good call, because you're only allowed to take one action 
It doesn't say one point's worth. It says one, do that once. So you have two points. So I would argue that you could do that um, because take spend an additional action point. She has two total to assign a guild card or to exchange, da 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 da, da. So the question is, we'll, we'll, we'll let Robin Because they're both decide. called action. Deploy action, task, action. Correct. And you're spending an additional action point. Uh, it doesn't I, say I, a I task action point. Actually, this is actually a good point, and I don't know that we've had this come up. Right. Somehow, That's the only no, reason. Think, well, I've always assumed it was yeah, the, you, you needed to drop down one. That was always I part of my... I think it might, there might be something in the rules that, that, that mentions this. about that. This. So this is on wealth. Um, further question, and I assume this is, so if you decide this is one and you place a card, the card has to be placed before, right? Like if you use this to place a card, can you then use it? No, you because you've already. It had to you, already correct, be out there. Correct, Yep. Hey, Brian. Um, hey, while we're, while Jess is deciding, or while we're waiting for Robin, I should say, uh, Alexander. He's been pretty quick, so. Yep. Yeah. Mm. Come on. on. It doesn't like There it goes. Oh. All right. So hey. cheers, Alexander. Thank you. Cheers. Welcome. Um, Welcome. I, Be I'll, like Alexander. Mm. So I think I should just play it that way. All right. So back, give me an anarchy. Anarchy. We and, can always um, get I'll you place that one. back. Yep. Uh... And Seth, you can replace skills that you if you already have two yes. down. All right, so that's going to be that. What one are you playing? Banker's Guild. Increase your wealth by two if possible. Each opponent must reduce their wealth by one. Take one influence for each opponent unable to reduce their wealth by one. For what it's worth, Matt agrees with you guys. Um, okay. So there we go. All right, uh, so now we have here. Oh, All right, so Jess is a bluff. Yep. So now you, sir, decide. Do. Okay, so I choose it to be a one. Mm -hmm. So when it becomes my turn, because it's a one, I can take either the Scholar's Guild or the Merchant's I Guild action. You, I think you do it now, actually. I oh, think you, you when? You, when? Yeah, okay. Yeah, yeah, when you declare what it is. So if that's the case, I will go ahead and... I will do the Scholar's Guild now. So we're going to draw five of those in secret. One, two, three, four, five... That's a, uh, oof. yeah, that's a no-brainer for me. And then I'm going to, in turn order, if you guys would like to purchase one of these, it will cost you one wealth, and it comes to me. Do you want that? Any of those? Jess? Um. Hey, Tom, and glad you enjoyed it, Brian. Hmm. Just finished last night's Glory to Realm stream. These are yours, by the way. Oh, thank you. I don't see why I wouldn't. I agree with that. Well, I'm going to get tons from this. Um, all right, which one do I want? And who does it? Who, I decide first? Yeah. I'll. T oof. That seems really good. I am going. Mm. If you're choosing between these, they're the same. Oh, are they? <laughs> so confused about that. Um, but I want it's a task action, that. but it can be augmented by reducing the scholar track. So yes, we did. You guys, how everybody read it, not named Edward, is correct. Okay, that's good. There you go. And the way we played it was correct. So, yeah, Thank yeah, you, yeah we got it to the right thing. Okay, and, and oh, I'm gonna when go. paying for this, if we were to buy one of these and you cross over a line, you do not. It, you do not take an anarchy for so doing this. You only take the anarchy. For crossing over lines when voluntarily, you're, when you're paying for an action. Yeah, paying for an action is a better way to word that. Mm, yeah. This is so tricky. I want that wealth guy because he's two, but I'm going to take this guy. All right, so Jess reduces her wealth by one. Mm -hmm. I increase mine by yeah, one. Yeah, I have another. Uh -huh. Not from me. Oh, well, that's okay. That was uh, yeah. two more than I expected. Awesome. So that was it. Now, Martin, you get three actions, sir. Well, three actions. So the, first, so the uh, deploy, um, of there's no. Um, meeples that you put out on a map with deploy, but it's still what you need to do in order to bump your track up. So I'm going to put track, bump it up by two. And then I'm going to do two apprenticeship actions, which means I get two bits of mystery meat from the top. All right, so I get two actions or one task action. 
to advance on the alms track, which is tempting. But one action is going to be able to play those cards, so that's going to bump one, two there. Then, yeah, I'm going to get an Anarchy to then bump up the Alms track to then get rid of the Anarchy. Done. There we go. So I took the Anarchy and then just replaced it for my second action. Ew, I cannot do both of those. Check that. Oh, wait, right, yes. Mm. Yeah, that's... Uh, so in that case, I will draw uh, the second one because I can't remember. I can't take the task action if I take a deploy. So I'm going to draw. Oh my! Everyone look down. Good draw. All right, good. Should have seen what I draw. Oof. Can't be better. <laughs> um, all right, so that is here, and now we reset. So what does that mean? This goes away. Uh, a new decree. Advance the turn marker. And five new workforce cards, please. Royal decree. Royal festivities. Each player immediately increases yeah. one town track by two, or two town tracks by one each. Ooh. Ah, delightful. Wow. Hmm. How pleasant. Hmm. Hmm. I think I'll send these two up. Hmm. I'm going to yeah. move my trade up to, there we go, get off the schneid there. I push this up to my, there we go. my wealth. That was nice. Alms for the poor, um. sir. There we go. Is, is that better, Robin? Okay. Two. <laughs> oh, actually, then I don't have to ever do this, do I? And, uh, yes, because that should be back up there. Good yeah, call. Because yeah, I didn't do that. Thank you, Matt. I'm going to do that. It's so nice having a peanut gallery. Mm. The stress of making dumb decisions is almost, but not quite compensated by the peanut gallery getting all of our screw-ups. My memory yes. is not good. Lots of cards. There we go. Cocaine's a hell of a drug. No, I'm telling just, you. I no, I'm kidding. I'm kidding. I'm kidding. so many things to remember. Okay. All right. So all we right. have a new round. Uh, Jess, start the bidding. All right. So the Royal Decree is actually done for this round. We've already done it. Everybody moved up their two tracks, so or one track twice. Yeah. Yeah, it's going to be a minute. It's going to be a little bit. Hmm. Hold on, paying attention. Uh... Getting that seems like the best idea. And as I mentioned earlier, the podcast just released, and Rado released his over on uh, YouTube as well. I'm sorry, I'm trying to figure out where I want to go. Life is tough that way. Yep. Yes. Yep, I'm coming. I just gotta figure out which one to put there. Oh, there Jerk. Martin, really? Seriously, I Martin. Liked you. Really? <laughs> Man. This is so bad. Yeah, uh, uh, yes. Um, there are seven events. I don't here. know. Um, Eric, six of which are random. The other one is the Queen is Dead. Um, Touche. And then you. Yeah. Immediately do oh, yeah. draw another one when that happens. Uh, okay. Hmm. Oh, that changes that. Hold on. All right, no one's going there. And if the queen doesn't die by the end of the game, she dies at the end of the game. seem very certain of that, so what are you plotting? Oh, there's so many things I want to do. Mm -hmm. 
Isn't there always? That would mm. be good, but I don't think I can do that right now. So. They're saying you should read it in a posh accent. All right. I tried this last time and I did bad. Not That's where I had that, right? <laughs> Figure out what I'm supposed to do. Oh. use that and that. So I should use this where I need it. And I need it there, I think. Okay. I will say, it's my favorite part of the game. Mm -hmm. Make sure I'm... have to do that. Okay. What else do I want to do this turn? No. Good with that, I'm good with that. Don't need that. Yeah. There. Wow. Oh. Wow. I didn't see her too. I thought it was going to be all four of us there. Wow. <laughs> wow. Huh. Oh, no. Oh. All right. Flip. All right. Mm. I think it's a one, a one, and a one. No. It is a one. Is All a right. One. <laughs> so I will increase my trade and knowledge by one. One and one. Done. Uh, doing the Merchant's Guild is what that did. And so now I will take the first player marker. Three. One, two, three for me, and two, yeah. two for Edward. Yep. All right. And I should point out, you're choosing from these. I cannot choose also to discard this one. I've already made that decision previously. Okay. Well, I'm working on that one. The name on that one cracks me up. All right, I'm keeping one. No, no, no. My favorite is the the, the bidding mechanism in this game. I, I really, really like this. The secret bids. Keeping one, sir? Keeping one. Okay. That one is... And take your markers. Just once you're ready. Yes, I'm looking for this one. Okay. Oh, hey. So Martin, Place it against choose a card. Choose a card. That's it. There you go. I'll take the three. So he was. He would have since he was first and last. I he technically would have could have put them in a shuffle them and right. taken one. But, but he only really gets to keep one because keep he only one. bid one. So well, it didn't I had matter. bid two. I'd have get to take two okay. of my choices. Just take your marker. Nice, but there we are. And you're up for the soldier action, JRX. Right, um, which means I get to do three. Ooh. Right? Uh, it does. Yes. Uh, your mix of any three soldier actions, or okay. monger. Mm. While you're thinking, while Jess is going on here. So good. Oh, for the love of both, it's good and holy. There we go. So there. Michael. Cheers. Cheers. And then Cheers. Jess is it pre indisposed, but I'm sure Cheers. you appreciate it. There you go. Um 
Thanks for the support, Michael. Appreciate it. Welcome to the herd. Robin says, fun fact, in early prototypes, oh spies were able to po poison the monarch, and there was an, a monarch health track. Scholars were able to heal the monarch. Mm -hmm. I like that idea. So, okay, you know the obvious question now, Robin, is why did it get removed? All right. So I have three Both, things. Robin. Uh, okay. Yeah. Three so actions. I could move over to where White is, Martin is. Uh huh. Right? Uh huh. And then I could attack. You can. And I could attack. Or you could attack. You could attack nobody here or Martin here or Martin there. I think, I no, I can if, move and attack and attack. I think if, he atta if, if she attacks anywhere where there is anybody else, she has to attack. Right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, I can't raid. There's and no raiding. Yeah. Well, you can raid if you go to somebody else's spot. Right. Right. Here or here, you could raid. Okay. Which basically a raid What's is the just raid. Uh, raid is just getting victory points. Uh, but you get an anarchy if you raid in the center. Well, no, you're not raiding in the center. So, right. Yeah. No. So you would. So if I move there, I get just a victory point. You, a influence? you get a victory point per soldier you remove. So you can get up to three victory points. Raiding victory. is an automatic win. No. Yeah. And you're not removing anybody's right. pieces. So if you came here and raided, you could remove up to three of them. You have to remove one, but you could remove up to three to get one per. Of my own. Of your Correct. Own. Yeah. Whereas a battle, somebody is going to win the battle. In theory, it could be tied. And then you're each going to lose one unit. And then you get spoils based on the difference. So, for instance, you would be three to one right now versus Martin. You both would roll a die, add the die roll to that total. You could also get a plus one by taking a single anarchy as the attacker. And then the amount of influence you gain is, is the, difference. the difference. Right. Or you could cause him to lose more units, which you can't because he only has one. Yeah. So yes, the difference. It's a higher risk, higher reward type thing. Or you could raid and guarantee yourself one to three points. One to you, three because I roll? Well, no. What? It would be one if you were to raid You'd remove one for right. one point, and you could remove up to two more. For and the, the die only goes up to four. Correct, because the mm -hmm. fives and sixes are zeros, and you both roll. Mm, all right. So I rolled a zero, and Martin rolled a four last time, just well, FYI. Well, I'll try. I'm going to attack Martin. Okay, so there's an attack. So before you guys roll, <laughs> you declare who you're attacking. That's mm -hmm. Martin. Mm -hmm. Then do you want to take an anarchy to add a plus one? Right now it's three to one versus a four to one if you take an anarchy. And that increases it by one, which would only give me one influence, and they're definitely minus one influence, potentially more. So That's I don't true. see a reason to do that. Okay. So it's three to one. You both roll your dice. Go ahead and roll them out here so everybody can see. So that would be Whoa. a cannon <laughs> die. Reroll it. Yeah. So that's six to one. At six to four, they both lose one unit automatically, no matter what. Casualties. There yep. you go, because battles. So now that it's now a difference of two. You take two points. So if there was any, if Martin had any units left, she could knock those out. She basically has two two options: options. victory yeah. points or remove his yeah. units. Yeah. There you go. That's okay. the battle. So that was one. That's one. Um, now you could raid. In the same location, technically. Yeah. Yeah. Because now there's nobody there. Yeah. But I'd take an anarchy because it's the center. Yes. Yep. So yes. I could move. Move and then raid. And then raid. Really? So I can move and get to... That didn't go tremendously well. Oh, that's hmm. embarrassing. It does. You were not playing Warsaw. That was the previous oh. day. Wow, I am a terrible host. Oh, you're fine. You're fine. So make right. your decision. I will. I think... I'm going to move either Trump. way. Do I move? One, one to H in that. Wait, yeah. You need an H. We're spell checking. Extra service that we provide. No charge. Why not? <laughs> All right, so I'm going to take an action to move over to where Martin is. <laughs> battle. That's two actions, and now <laughs> they're going to battle. Get, now, what are people picking up? Now, you, <laughs> you have an actual chance to get victory points out of this. You could I do have a chance if I rolled as well as I did against you, yes. Right. So it's now two to one. Are you taking an anarchy for an, another battle? Oh, because the attacker can do that. Only the attacker, and you can only take one if you wish. Okay, I'll take one. All right, so you take that. So it's now three to one. Go ahead and roll, both of you. Oh, that was Four to good. one. Oh, see? That's a zero. And that makes it So even. it's four to one. No, oh, okay. it's four to one. So right. you both lose one. 
And difference is three, you score three victory points. So turn in two and take a five. Okay. Or get influence. Well, that was pretty successful. That, that was uh, very successful. Are you taking any bonus actions? You oh, could, could raid for one more point. <laughs> <laughs> a raid is simply you take them off the board, and however many soldiers you take off, mm. you get that many victory points. Um, that's interesting, because I don't really need him out there now. Sure, because I don't want to just leave him. So I'll bro drop that. So that's going to be him. a raid. And one more point. Another so point. it's a raid because there's no opponents there. Correct. Yes. There you go. There we go. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah, that was fun. Said no one, <laughs> except Jess. <laughs> All right, so here we go. It's important to demonstrate that aspect yeah. of the game, I guess. <laughs> uh, all right. Uh, it didn't suck you into putting another one. Nope. Well, I'd already put a two, so I wasn't too worried about it. All right, so for the spies. So the first one is going to be placing one spy out here and play a three joker. One, two, three. So that's one of my three actions. The second action. Wow, there's so much I want to do. Um, that's two actions. Well, Jess just got all those victory points. So that's going to be three actions there. And I can move up to two, but I only have one spy out on the board. So that's three actions. However, now I'm going to go ahead and spend one, two, and take an anarchy for doing so. And I'm going to take the subterfuge action. Because I'm in her tavern, I then can choose her to go down any two tracks that I so desire. Randomly, I'm going to choose the Intrigue and the Knowledge Tracks. Please, Jess. One. And she doesn't take any uh, uh, anarchy. Key, anarchy for that. But the reason we did that is because the Black says, use the Subterfuge action twice to decrease an opponent's Intrigue and Knowledge in the same turn. So that's a swing of six points. It's worth three now. So boom, done. There we go. And that is all my actions there. And by taking that action, you remove them from the board. Or one of them from the board. You know what? You only have yeah. one guy, though. Right. But it's one, and then the second one is a uh, anarchy. So it actually only costs. Mm -hmm. Only had to drop that one, and you take the anarchy for doing the second track. I apologize. There we go. But, Fun. I mean, if you pay for it, uh -huh. don't you have to do the full action? Jess? I did. So? But read you it didn't again. Keep, read the whole thing. Read it Remove out one spy from a tavern. Okay, I removed one spy from a tavern. If this is your first substitute, you may advance one space along the diplomacy track. Thank so you like for the one reminder. town track. Okay belonging to the tavern owner that they must reduce by one. Take one anarchy marker to reduce the second. Oh, okay, that's the part. There we track go. Track by one. Maybe the same track, but you didn't. Okay, if the spy was removed. But you didn't take the subject view action twice. You just took the subject view action once. Correct, I misspoke. Okay. All right, All right. so we are now on to the, uh, the merchant action. So we have uh, three to four here, and uh, I'll, I'll go third. So... Martin, is it's that a, a one two. or two? It's a two, so that's I've got four. No card, so it's easy. And it doesn't matter. Might Jess. as well be a one, yeah, so right. I can use my. There bank. you go. So Jess is a one, so using your banker's guild. I'm um, going to increase my wealth by two. Each opponent must decrease their wealth by one. If you yeah. can't, I get influence, but you all yeah. can. There you go. All right, so now, Martin, three actions. Three actions. Oh, that was a good job I went there. The first one will be a deploy. I can move two with my trade. Who am I going to be nice to? Certainly not Jess. For not, out of the usual reason and the fact that she was been beating me up for the rest of this girl. Uh, I'll be nice to Edward because Shay's got a spy in my place. So 
Um, he's going to be na he's going to be nasty to me shortly. Okay. Sorry. So I'll be nice to Edward. So I'll move two. So it's one action, which was at um, um, caravan, and now I'm going to do the commerce twice. Um, I am going to each so that will each time it will remove one dude. I get to d reduce either a, a trade or a bank. I've only got one bank left, so I'm, both of them are going to remove those. And I'm going to take five victory po influence points for each, and Edward gains two on his trade track. So let me unpack that a little bit. Oh, so for, I've done okay. Oh well. For each action <laughs> that you take, you can either lower one of those two tracks and up either of those tracks. If you are in an opponent's uh, market. In lieu, in lieu of raising those tracks, you can take the shown victory points, depending on which direction you go. As it is, 10 points, that's kind of hard to pass up. I don't blame you for doing so, and uh, well done. Good that's sir. Why I was so determined to win that. Uh, hey, Christopher, uh, by the way, Bill at the top of the screen. Mm. Yeah. Hello, Bill. All right. Your faith is... Yeah. So I can Badly placed, but place good. merchant to, I can do two actions. I can do tradesman. What am I doing here? Okay, not that. So I'm going to place a merchant. He goes here. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. And you can um, play. Play a card. There you go. That's visible, right? Uh, two. Uh, one, two. It's out. And then... One action. Mm, I'll place another one. Now, this counts as a territory, right? It does. Everything. Yeah, if is it's a on the board, it's on. The, it's a territory. Okay. Um, and then where am I on that? Oof, I take an anarchy. I don't really want to take an anarchy. Not so many anarchy, but I probably should. So, mm, God, that's painful. I'm gonna pull that back. Take an anarchy. Now, right now, Anarchy is still minus one because we haven't taken from the minus two. I'm place that. All right. Jess? Hmm. All right. So it looks like I'm getting one action of my choice. Um, shockingly. There we go. And... Huh. One to go up there, and that's that. Do I want to spend another? For an anarchy, is it worth it? Uh, no, done. Yeah, it's done. All right, that's it. Bluff and Shrey. Oh, okay. Um, so I'm going to take a profits action, which is discard a mm -hmm. banker card from my hand to increase my wealth track. It goes up by two. So that was that. And then I will, so that's one action. And then I'm going to spend one, sadly. Now that we're two. Minus two, as it were. Uh, so spending one to um, take a grant action, so that's one. Oh, no, I have three actions. Yes, you have three actions. Oh, no, but the task is, the task is only of... No, no you have three no, no, no. actions. I have three it's, actions. Only, it's only in the second I case do not need to take you have this. to worry about this. I do not He's not used to having fir uh, being first yeah. Yeah. on this. So, so I will, I'm going to put down guild card. the banker's guild, mm. since Jess took my wealth. I need to recoup some. Um, and... So I took a grant and a profits action. The August, use, we use the profits and grants actions in the same turn. So I Done. fulfill this claims card. Those go away. Thank you. The first two were bluffs. It seemed to have worked, given the amount of bidding tokens that are here. <laughs> yes, they did work. Yeah, <laughs> All right, Short so. Hey, I'll make it a one. Okay, so take your special action. So everybody re decrease their wealth by one. Awesome. You guys are awesome human beings. Mm. Okay, so Shrey, take your three actions. 
Um, did I have a I did. All right. Um, so one is going to be to play this. Three. One, two, three. Uh, one is to move up in the alms track. Get rid of no I way never, I never took right? it. I should. Uh, uh, oh. um, and um, do I want to take a random from the top of the deck? No, I'm going to take another alms. Which moves you up one on the diplomacy track. Yeah. All right. So for mine, I get two task. Sorry, two deployer, one task. I'll take the task one, and I get rid of one of my anarchy. Done. And Martin. I will take some mystery meat for my house for this one here. Oops. And I will use an extraction um, and go up one on here. If you guys allow me, yeah, I'm going to do the same. I forgot there, and I will go up one on the alms track, which puts me up one there as well. Yeah. There we I haven't go. got any anarchy to get rid of, but had I had some, I could have done it. No, I do. So it gets rid of both of the anarchy. Yeah. There we go. All right, Martin, take your markers. Uh, the question was, am I second for that one? No, I wasn't, because Edward was uh, um, to the... Tiebreaker, so he was third. third. There you go. All right, so we get rid of this merchant. A new royal decree, five new workforce cards. Royal decree for queen and country. The first subterfuge action taken by each player this round moves that player two spaces along the diplomacy track instead of one. Oh. Subterfuge being uh, what I did to Jess to lower her track. Right. However, if you take subterfuge out here, nobody lowers their tracks. It's just you move up the diplomacy. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm first. Mm. And what do we get out there for cards? Mm. All right. Okay. So there are two things that I really need to do this turn. Three things I really need to do this turn. And you can't subterfuge in your own... Uh, in your own tavern. Correct. Oh, sorry. I'm thinking. That would be good to do early. Do I want another one of those, though? The peanut gallery says uh, much better. Thank you. <laughs> no. Nat naturally used to proper posh accents. I'm, so, a, I'm a working a class kid from black country. I mean, I, I, you know, we don't, I don't do posh. What, what, what is that? Well, it's not how the Queen would speak or, or you know, um, aristocrats. It's very definitely a posh English okay, accent. Okay, I got it. Okay. Um, you know, they, think, they say heist instead of house, that kind of thing. Okay. It's You're not up. the same as the normal um, sort of BBC received pronunciation. Yeah. So I got that I need to do. Shoot, what was the third thing? I know I need that and that. Hmm. No, hold on. There it is. Shoot, what was it? Um. I didn't say it again, did I? Alms for the poor, sir. There you go, that's the best I could do. Sorry, Robin. I didn't say it either. Too late.
That is true, Matt. You guys are going too quick. I don't know that I need to do that, actually. So... I do want to do that. Love how we're like, wait, what? Apparently, I have the memory of Nat. Yeah. Okay. Sorry. Same. Just. All right. So things. it's just his turn. Okay. Let's do that. Do. You... Got it. <laughs> Seriously. And that's. Oh, that would be good to do. It's tense. It's tense. No, I can't even remember what I've put down. <laughs> it's the way it goes. So confused. I know, I know, I know. Mm. Tricky as all get out. Chat's always going to say, Jess, Robin. For what? Who do they think is going to win? No. Must be a reason for that. There's <laughs> game. If they paid attention to game types, they would. They would. I excel at, at games like this. Yeah, that's true. This Just is not my thing. Not. Um, not saying that you fellas do not. I'm just saying me versus Jess. I did that there. But that doesn't there. necessarily mean I'm going to win. And I did that there. So that means I should probably... Martin does have it sitting on ten points there. Jess has seven. Yeah. You have one. I have none. Just FYI. Well, we also have these. Uh, yeah. yeah. Right. Exactly. But I'm just saying... Uh, mm -hmm. I yes, can't do there, are so it would be there. there. Okay, okay, okay. They've taken over the lead. Yeah. I need to do... Uh, I don't trust any of you. That's all right. We don't trust you after last night. Fine. Did she win last night? Shocker. <laughs> <laughs> all right, so there we go. <sighs> all right. One, one, one. Three, three, two, in that order, please. Three to pink, three to blue. And three to black. And I will get the elephant. Thank oh, you. well, where was that earlier? Seriously. Okay. So I'm never going to do that. I'm unlikely to ever do that. Fine. Okay. So that I might do later on. So I'll that? keep that one. There we go. And markers, I'm not reaching that far again. I think I pulled a muscle on my <laughs> side doing that. Oh, Getting that's, old that's sucks. doable, but what's this? It's better than the alternative. It is. As soon as you choose, Jess, we will uh, go to the uh, next action. So. Exactly, Matt. Anthony, wow, at least three of the Intrigue players from last night's stream are still alive. Has anyone seen Christopher? No. <laughs> nope. Which Chris was it? Uh, Tavares, uh, down yeah. in uh, Rhode Island. Right. Um, Providence. Try it. All right. Okay. All right, flip the next ones. 
We got a, oh, so what is it? Is oh, this does matter, Jess. If it's a one, she goes second. It's a one. Okay, so she gets to do the Banker's Guild. Yep. Um, increase your wealth by two. Mm. Everybody else must decrease by one. If they cannot, I get one influence point. Influence Which point cannot. Yep. Oh, Martin, come on. Get the wealth up. He did say he was a blue collar <laughs> yeah. from the black country. <laughs> what wealth is this that you speak of? And so this means that. There you go. Jess, so you now, Jess, you, you cut. Yeah. And I only get to keep one. Correct. Mm -hmm. No matter how you split it. Uh huh. So it guarantees her one of the twos if she wants it. I think I need. I think I'd prefer this. Sounds good. Um, that's the spy guy. Is that gonna help me out when I go there? But I really only wanted one of these. All right. Take your three soldier actions, Jess. Okay. If you guys are liking it, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. Consider supporting the show like the other fellas First have done so tonight. One is going to be to put out a sky and then go up by two. Okay. Do you want to go up by two? Because I could go up by one. Gives you more actions. Yeah. Without We're going to do that for this second. Okay. So that's one. And then can place another. You can move and raid for a point. I think that's what I'll do. So move. But that would take an anarchy there. Yes. Yep. Nothing wrong with taking anarchy. I mean, it's a minus point at the same time getting a point. So I could move and move and spend one to raid. True. Yeah. That will be an extraction. Yes, spend one to red. Move and move. Ah, is that worth it? This is going to go up. But, oh, I'm running out of time. <sighs> so, but I can you do the extra action. Do I have to do it after all my actions? Yep. Okay, so it does have to be the last action you take. It matters. I know. That would it does. be important. I just don't know whether to use this now. No, because it's going to be an anarchy. Ugh. Because I can place move two. Mm hmm. And that would be all three of your actions. Yep. Right, but if you. So that's two actions. Resolve an you attack. Think, if you, I have two soldiers there. For, you could kill them both in a raid. For two points. For two points, yeah. Yeah. Yes. So, because I'm still at a place I can move two. Mm. So that was two. So move both over. So that's, that's three. Now, go down. One. Yep. I'm going to take an anarchy because, because it's there. Because you're raiding in the central. But I get two points. You yeah. do. Well, hold on. You raid and remove one, and then you choose to remove the second for the second victory point. Thank you. Done? Mm-hmm. Take your markers, Jess. And double bluff by J-Rex. All right, so it's gonna be a three and two. Well, we're definitely going to subterfuge, but we have to get people on the board first. So, that's one. A moment. Okay. Yeah, I think I will. I'll play that. One, two, three. So that's one action. That's two actions. And I'll go ahead and remove them for a subterfuge action. And because it's a subter the first one, because of the royal decree, that's one. 
That's two. That's all you that get, did. You, you get an anarchy if you, you, if you do substitution in the, in the middle. Mm -hmm. yeah. Oh, you know what? In that case, he will have moved over here. Which means you would prop one of my tracks if you do that. So, mm, so who would you want to, yeah. Yeah, that's a fair point. But I gave you points. I gave you stuff by coming to your place and giving you. Thank things. you for doing so. Thank you. <laughs> All right. Go ahead and drop your uh, your uh, trade track one. There you go. Hmm. And then wow. that'll go. So he was there. Two. Correct. Mm -hmm. That's where I was. I was on the two. Yep. Uh, chat. Go ahead. Just confirm that. Boom. Done. There we go. Uh, so. Okay. So I'm gonna get. I get two uh, deploy actions, which will be put out to people. And um, you can play cards if you wish. I, I'm going to choose not to. Uh, and then I'm going to use one. Uh, oh, and before I do that, I will reveal have the unavoidable. I am the unavoidable. Have at least one mm -hmm. spy in your tavern, the central tavern, and in a bonus tavern. Checks out. Mm. And then I will... Um, Spend this, which gets me an anarchy, sadly, to um, to raid or not raid, subterfuge in Martins. Wow, he well, is just me. Saves me an anarchy. Wow, uh, that's dirty. <laughs> Andy convinced you to go there before wow, he was knowing he was going to go there. On you, Martin, remember what he did to you. <laughs> so drop your uh, drop your merchant one. Wow, you were a dirty, dirty dog. Why'd idiot. you listen to him? I don't and know. Then, and then I get two on that track. There we go. Hey, yeah, you know, just stick your knives in me. It's I'm not gonna. One, I'm two, three. <laughs> Good call, Eric. There you go. All right, so that's done. That's going to be a, oh, 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 hold on, wait, before I make that decision, hold on. <laughs> um, Because this would allow me two. I'm not taking the commerce action, so it would give me two actions. That would be one and two. Do I want to take more than that? Do I want... Possibly four actions. Nope, it's going to be a one for my friend Martin to make up what I did to him. <laughs> so, <laughs> Scholars Guild, one. I'll take five of these. One, two, three, four, five. Choose one to keep. I'm going to draw another three joker. That was a really good draw, <laughs> not going to lie. Uh, yeah, I'm good with this, actually. So we got some uh, Scholars and uh, some Jokers, if you would like. Cost you one wealth to choose, J-Rex. That is tempting. I said it last night, Shrey is cold. <laughs> <laughs> Huh. I feel, I, I genuinely, I shouldn't have listened to him. I'm sorry. I know, Martin. going back I'm on sorry. that was... Uh, <laughs> I shouldn't have. You I made like, your decision. Yeah. yeah. You no. made your decision. Yeah. You wrote it. I'm doing that, but that, no. Uh, is, no. I've got to decide if, if I have an action in the future where I need to be nice to somebody. Who can I be nice to? <laughs> I've got no, nobody <laughs> to be nice no to allies. anymore. I know. <laughs> 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 Bill's offering to shiv Shrey. So Go ahead. Are sorry. you choosing one, Jess? <laughs> okay, Shrey. Oh, oh, sorry, I didn't realize. Yeah, I else. didn't either. Well, actually, there's uh, a queue of people for you to shiv, actually. <laughs> uh, um, yeah, go ahead. T take the wealth. I think I will. Uh, they're, they're both really tempting. I think this one. And uh, Martin elects to not, because he cannot. Mm. So that was my special for the Scholars Guild. Now, Martin, you get three actions, sir. Okay, one merchant out to my thing. 
I drop five merchant mm. watsits. One, two, three, four, five. Deploy another merchant. After we spend all that time, we drop both of them track. to the center. All right. So that's you, and I get two actions. It's going to be one, two. Oh, wait. Two, because that's helpful. Uh, and I have uh, the mild. I uh, have at least one merchant in any opponent's market, so there's that. There we go. Yeah, no. Um, and do I want to do that? To drop that one, to raise that two. I hate the... Mm. No, I'm going to wait for a better exchange rate. Done. So, Martin, that's yours. All right, what is this pile? Well, that's a zero. I like your chances of having the most. That's all you, Martin. Okay. For three. The uh, banker. banker. All right, yep. well, at least, well, one of them I can actually spend three to give me some money, which I guess is going to be good, but I probably won't keep them for very long. One, two, three. And then I will take a card. I'm tempted to take the Banker's Guild card because everybody else is, but I actually could do with taking the Merchant's card instead. Which one's that? Trade and Knowledge. Because okay. I'm a peaceful artist guy. I'm not one of these aggressive people. All right. And so, wait, what's it? One or yeah. two? Might as well be one, I guess. And Shrey. It's a one. Okay, so you both can take your actions. So, Martin? Um, increase trade and knowledge by one. Uh, there we go. Increase wealth by two. Everybody dropped wealth by one. <sighs> Everyone drops their wealth. Mm -hmm. All right, three, two, one action. Go for it, Jess. Okay. Um... While you're thinking, Martin, what was your merchant actions? I'm not what thinking. What did you take? It's one, two, three. I... Uh, one, Spend. two, and then into the... So there we go. Four. Three. That's four so anarchy three, three cubes back. Yeah, you skipped it? I did it right in front of everybody. The video might have hiccuped. I don't oh, know. Okay. Um, and you, uh, oh, okay. And then that the does the last oh, yes. one, okay. and I move on the thing. Yeah. So one there, and one track of your choice. No, that's one anarchy cube back, right? No, that's move on a track. Oh. Okay. So take an anarchy yeah, back. It was brown, so I thought. Yeah, fair enough, fair enough. Um, hmm. Well. So I guess I'll take that one. Okay. All right. Uh, Martin, two actions. Two actions. I'm going to take two apprentices. So that's two Mr. Meats. And any more? Any extra actions, Martin? Uh, Apparently the uh, yeah the video hiccup. So there you go. That's what he had done. All right. No. All right. And Trey, final action. Um. Yeah. So I'm going to discard four uh, scholar, four total scholar cards for four pounds. One, two, three, four. And I'm going to use one for uh, alms track. Alms track. And return your. And return this. There we go. All right, and clean it up. I could do an, I could do another one if you would like. Let me think about that for a second. No, I oh, know because I would just, I would drop it. Get and an then, anarchy. And then I would get the anarchy. Oh, because I wouldn't be able to get the anarchy up first, so I'm not going to. Okay. Yep. Okay. All right. New royal decree, crappy exchange rate, and five new workforce cards. Jess, please. Sorry. Look. Royal decree. Free trade. Each commerce action taken this round moves the affected player's track wow. marker on the increased town track one extra space. Each, com each commerce I'm action. I'm stuck on the fact that I wouldn't have taken that extra action to effectively just move it back up if I'd known it wasn't oh, so an this. anarchy. When you bump so up, yeah. about that makes process. the exchange rate a little less crummy, okay. but still, it's pretty crummy. Do you want to back it up? It doesn't matter. Okay. All right. And 
So it's commerce actions give you an extra space. Hmm. Okay. So it's a terrible. Uh, yeah. I mean, in theory, that was good for this round, but it's still crappy. It's two to one yeah. instead of uh, one to one. So that's terrible for the exchange. Um, you're first. Yes. Fourth round. I'm gonna do that. Oh, I did this. I can't keep track of all the things. Say it. Um, I increased the alms. I did the alms action twice in the same turn. That was the point of going up there and doing that 50 yeah. million times. Yeah, do the you do. Don't worry about it. The name of it is The Enlightened. Oh. <laughs> all right. How delightful. Uh, delightful. What am I trying to do right now? Oh, I don't know. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Wow, that was terrible. Um, that's a terrible exchange rate, too. So we're waiting on that. We have, uh, oh. Okay. That's annoying. Mm. Down there? Yeah, I mean, I should. I, I agree. I think you ought to. Okay. Martin? Jeffs? Hmm. 
Done. Jess? All right, here we go. Okay. Take That's my one, three, one. please. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. Okay, that's not happening. Thank you. Can I flip these in case somebody yep. else can? Okay. Keep that one. And I assume you want to keep yours a one because the two is not going to change order. Correct. So I will keep it a one, and I will do the Scholars Guild to start. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, that worked out. All right. Anybody? Here, I'll put them out here. A three wealth, a two spy, a two, I'm sorry, a three trade, two spy, two wealth, or one scholar. Market's open. Jess, would you like any of those for one wealth? Um, That might be beneficial. Given the selection, One, there's a little bit of something for most everybody. I like that. So if I drop one for that, it would then put me up here. And then I can pay without going under. Sorry, counting, actions, things. Nope. All right. Good. Shrey. Wow, I really thought I would have three, e at least two. Oh, I just tried to go. Oh, it's... wow. I'm legitimately surprised. Um, I think I can do it. I think it'll work out. Yes, I will go ahead. One, okay. And let me just verify what I have here. Uh, yeah, I'll take the spy card. And Mr. Fowler. Thank you. Mm -hmm. I mean, three for mm -hmm. one, two for one even. Yep. Oh, we don't, but I don't take anarchy. Take he didn't no. take anarchy. No, no, you don't take You anarchy. don't. Okay, I'll so do So you that. get one for me, because I bought one off you. Okay. And, and you get one for me, too. I'll take this. You didn't take what I wanted, so you're good. Okay. All right. Okay, so I get two more. That worked out. Mm. Yeah, two too many. Hey, you never, only, only by taking extra actions. Right. All right, so now split. Martin, how do you want to cut them? I want to split. Well, I want to divide up these. That's what I'm saying, Matt. most attractive exactly. of them. So which ones do I want to juice with a little juice? Or you could split them all up, <laughs> which is what he did. I'll put Sylvia in a separate one just to be more annoying to people. All right, Shrey. Um, yep. That is annoying. <laughs> it works. <laughs> Maximum annoyance. That's what we want to go for. I can't win, but at least I'll annoy people. That's my plan. Um, I, I, I'm okay with all three buckets. I like the Joker, and I get okay. two of them because I have at least a two. Right. Yep. Um, there we go. Oh, that worked. It was exciting, if nothing mm -hmm. else. All right. Yes. Next so, one. next one. All right, Jess? <laughs> <laughs> it's all bluffing up there. It's Lots all war bluffing, right? Yes. Well done, because it, it, it worked. Like, I was like, oh, what's going on? Oh, no, just kidding. <laughs> Sick. Okay. So, uh, there we go. So, three spy actions. We are going to go one. I like to not play any cards, any uh, workforce cards. That's one. That's two. That's three actions. And uh, the hunter. Have at least one spy in an opponent's tavern. Done. Here you go. Uh, hold on. Oh, it's okay. And then, is it? Yeah, it, it is worth it. I will take an anarchy. 
And I will have you drop your scholar down one, sir, which boosts my diplomacy up one, and he comes back off. It was worth it. Done. All right. Um, so I will take the two deploy actions. So one, well, they, they both, well, actually, one could be move, couldn't it? So one for that and play this at the same time. To boost this up two. And then the second one, sure. Oh, yeah, because then it will save me an anarchy. That's a good point. Uh, and you can move three. I wish I could tell. Like your wrestling name, apparently, Martin. <laughs> nice. <laughs> All right, we'll return the favor. That's my second deploy. And now I will spend one to subterfuge over there. I would argue that was a sneak. Yes. There there, yes, yeah. it was a sneak. So I'll subterfuge over there and take one and drop your... You drop my, my, my scholar and... How about we drop your... Um, Isn't there enough violence in the world, Shrey? Mm. Not for him. We'll drop your wealth. Okay. And yeah, I got that. Okay. Thank you. Nope. I assume that's a one, Mr. Fowler? It certainly is, yes. So it increases my trade, trade and, and knowledge by one each. Okay. And three actions, sir. Three actions. That's kind of handy. Um, I will... Well, the person who's been least mean to me is Jess, so I'll go and hang out in her trading area. That'll be one action. Mm -hmm. For another action, I'll put out another merchanty person. How many are you playing, sir? And I am playing three. One, two, three. And then I'm going to... My remaining one. I think I'm going to move it to there. All right, no extra actions? Nope. There you go, sir. And uh, Jess, that's all you. Cool. Thanks for making me spend extra there. That was awesome. <laughs> I really appreciate it. I'll be honest. I thought I'd put a one there. Not going to lie. <laughs> I'm glad for that a little bit because I could have used that extra action, but I gave it up. Um, okay. So I get three actions. Mm, so I'm going to use two of them to put in the Soldier's Guild. And then I'm going to drop to put in the Merchant's Guild. Mm, interesting. There we go. Well, you'll find out. And why. then, oh hey, yeah. what soldiers is it? and merchants guild on your town board. The ox. The ox. Just the ox. So mm -hmm. that is done. All right. All right. Here okay. we go. Final turnover. Uh, Jess, one or two. Um. You would be What's the actions? I'd still get two. You would get two, but it could only be either or. It can't be... You know, either two deploys or one task action. Correct. And the task action is arms. Oh, Correct. Mm. Um, so that's unfortunate. I'm going to make it a two. And it's a no one for me, so everybody drop your oh, wealth wait. by one. I'm sorry, how much does it cost to move up Alms? That one's only one? It's one, but you can only do it once. Why is that? Look, two deploy or, or one, one action. task. But if, if you second. paid an additional, you could, yes. Then you, you could, could do, do it, it again. Yep. But if I'm in first, I could do it three times. Okay, yep. that's fine. We'll leave it. We're so good. I, I bumped up my wealth by two, everybody else drops wealth by one. Yep. 
Done. Okay. Uh, and you said that was a one? Yes. Yep. So there we go. There. So, Jess, you got three actions. Okay. And you mix and match you want. So, I'll... Doesn't really make sense to do this now. Because I would just be spending it. So, I'll hold on to that. Um, I'm going to advance three on the alms. So, that's going to be one, two, three. So, you get to return that one, right? Yeah, and, and I get a workforce card. card, but that brings me to five points. And you have to say alms for the pool, so yeah, alms for the pool. So, no. <laughs> <laughs> the designer said that was uh, it, ma'am. Fine, yeah. okay, uh, that, that that works. Yep, yeah. no worries. Not trying to make it about the sex, it's just the it's the same. Same. Martin, you're up. I'm up. Well, I shall begin with an apprentice to draw mm. some mystery meat. Yeah. And then how many are you bumping up? <laughs> yeah, I've only added decisions to the matrix, that's the problem. Um, and then, yeah, I'm going to do a bump up with four. One, two, three, four. It's pretty close. All right, done? Yep. All right. So, uh, I bid a two and I get one action. <laughs> Life is tough sometimes. That's a bump of four. One, two, three, four. Done. Um, so, I get one action. And I get it can't one, be. One to play. So and it can't be the arm strike. I will, I will top deck. Okay, that's not a card that I want. Okay. And then I will spend one, two alms. I could spend another. I might do that. So I don't have one to return, sadly. Um, which will I get to bump a track? Yep. Uh, we will bump. Um, we'll bump a uh, a spy. Done. Um, Mm, no, I'm gonna I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna do that and take that. Now you're done. Now I'm done. All right, <laughs> going into the final or penultimate round. Sorry, there and Jess at your leisure, if you could put five out. Royal decree: There shall be a royal tourney. At any point during this round, each player may discard one workforce card from their hand. They take influence equal to the value of that card. So, one, two, or three victory points. All right. Any point. Oh. Mm. That makes the card I drew bad. All right, Shrey. Uh, you begin. Yes. Uh, not, now I need to remember what I want to do. Seriously. I need to remember to do that. I'm just glad we have two rounds and not one. I need to do that, and I need to do... That. Okay, so first we will do this. Okay, I screwed that up. I see that now. Uh, wow, I have four things I need to do, so I better choose wisely. So I need that. Oh, you can actually return the anarchy that you just took by oh. moving up. So right. it's it's, it's permissive. This? It's not. Yeah. That is there you go. Thanks for the correction there, Robin. Yep, he did. All right, I really need to move that. This is bad. Okay. One, two, three. What is the fourth thing? <sighs> Dang it. Do that. You're not going back. Well, there. Technically, he crossed the threshold to take the action, which gave him the anarchy to do the alms trek, then returns the yeah. But so that's right. Yeah. Yeah. Doing that, is, that there would you go. be yep. beneficial because right. otherwise I'm in trouble. That is yes, order of operations. Okay. Correct. 
So wait, this is going there, this. Hmm. Shrey? Yep, I'm just double checking something. Yeah, we'll do this. do that, but what, the other one... That's done. Um... Just? Yeah. Let me make sure... Otherwise it's... AP being action point in that case, right, Robin? Got it. Yep. So we, we did it right, yeah. Jess? Mm. At least let them do that and that. That one can stay. Fix something. Wow. <laughs> oh. So I know. Yeah. All right, give me a second to, to figure this out, which is more important. Um. I think this is. Okay, I just figured it out. Okay. This was the hardest time I had with this the entire game so mm. far. All right, first one. I'll take my three cards. No. Nope. Yes, I'll take my three cards. Oh. Either, well, it no, it doesn't matter, because either way. Yeah. Right, but you... Oh, yeah, but yeah. I'll take my five here okay, first. Okay, so we'll do that yes. first. Right. And then you'll get five. I'll and get then these, and then... You'll be first yeah. player. Right. Yep, and I will be. Oh god, I gotta quit doing that. That hurt. These will be your three uh, claims. But we won't look at them until you. That really sucked. Oh uh, man. Music to our ears. Are they all threes? Uh, right. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be a little bit happier about that. Um. Yeah, I want really bad cards. Okay, so here we go. Have some spies. Oh wow! Or a soldier. J Rex, do you want any of those? Yep. For but one I, wall wealth. I Which cannot one? give you wealth, so you don't. Why? Because I cannot. Okay, so you are like not to. <laughs> I'm choosing not to. And I don't have a choice. Hope that other card was good for you. It really wasn't. It was what I wanted. <laughs> so there's that. So there's your three. Okay. This is, this is my three. All right. Mm -hmm. oh. oh, come on. So 
So I know there, and then next turn, do I focus on that? I think I do. All right. Yep, that works out, so I'll keep that one. And those will go. And on. I'm just going to do this real quick. Uh, be scoring at least two influence on the wealth track and have at least, uh, have at least four spies and territories. And one, that is, four. Checks that is out. the tyrant. That's All the right. card I drew last turn, and I forgot to mm -hmm. actually say that I drew it. Okay. All right. So Tyrant. I'm curious to see how this went. Go ahead, flip them up. Two, one, two, zero. All right. So Martin gets to separate them how he will. Mm. What's the twos? Oh. Yeah. <laughs> Especially with twos in the option, that's pretty and straightforward yeah. choice. Yeah, it doesn't yes. matter, really. All right, so Jess gets to choose. You each get two cards. Yes, if you want. we do. Oh, Martin. <laughs> I quite like the way this is done. This. Oh, uh, the I cut you really choose is fantastic. Yeah, yeah I agree. Yeah. Yeah. Really, it works really beautifully for this uh, mm. particular decision. I can't think of another game I've had that does that as part of its way of doing that, but it's really good. There, way there are games. There. I'm sure there are, but I don't. None of the ones I. This one, with this one, that will get me to that. Of, piece of cake but and New York slicer. If yeah. I don't <laughs> do that, yeah. I guess I have right. more time for that. So, piece of pie, piece of cake. Which it's one? nice how it's, it's just a small mechanism as part of it, but it yeah. really works mm -hmm. nicely. Yeah, it does. That looks like I'm getting a two uh, bank up, two uh, wealth form. Mm -hmm. All right. Uh, Whatever Shrey so, chooses. No, uh, <laughs> not Shrey. Oh, no, so Edward chooses. Yes. Right. Do you want extra wealth or extra Which, trade? actually, yeah, this is really kind of interesting. Um, <laughs> moment. Good, good. And you're taking this? Yes. Oh, well, actually, there was a choice there because it was different. Yes, yeah. it was, but uh, I'd rather have that. Although it's not going to help me much risk it. All right. Okay. So, Jess, is that a one or a two, ma'am? Um, a one. Yeah. Okay. So you go first and anyway. which do you wish to do? Uh. <laughs> That's right. Tyrant. Checks out. <laughs> not that one. So, it's going to be <laughs> increased strength. And intrigue. Okay. And three actions. Okay. Well, at least that did what it needed to do. Oof. Um, place a soldier. Play these for a bump of three. So there's one. Two um, to go. I think I'll actually. Oh, I could go battle. There is somebody else now. Definitely don't want to drop. So I could move battle. Yep. That, that doesn't take an anarchy. It doesn't, but it's it's just roll straight of the roll dice. to roll. Yeah. Mm. Hmm. I don't really need another guy out there. Yeah, let's do that. So that's two, and then battle. So you eat, you're not taking an anarchy to add a plus one. Hmm. I'm not going to go up to arms again, so it's going to be negative. But it's negative one. Likely, the way it's looking, but round and a half to go. Nah. Okay, so okay. mono e Straight roll. Wu mono <laughs> versus mono. Yep. Wu mono e mono. Zero, zero. Wow. Death to That's everybody. It. There you Nothing. go. Nothing. Boom, everybody done. dies. In the end, isn't that how it always works out? That's your three unless you're taking any extra actions? Nope. Martin, two actions. <sighs> well, I'll put a soldier out and 
bump my soldier thing up. One, two, three, four. There is, or at least I get that. And then put another soldier up, I guess. Done. Jess is first. Am I? I was not expecting Three that. Reactions. All right. Um, well, I'll place a spy. Use this guy. One, two, three. And then that means if I place another one, I can move both of them. Yep. But that would be it, right? That would be all three actions unless you want to spend any extra actions. Correct. Everybody at home, y'all, is this all making sense? You guys able to follow along well? Ooh, good guys, y'all. Or I can move the one, and that would get me a diplomacy if I then sub uh -huh. subterfuge. But I have to move uh, twice, so I'd end up taking No, you only have to move once. You can subterfuge from the middle? You can. You just don't bump anyone's tracks down. You just bump your diplomacy up one. That's the whole point. Okay. So that's two. Yeah. And then subterfuge three brings that back and bumps that up. Boom, done. Perfect. But she gets an anarchy. For right. in so the subterfuge in the in the central tower and take one anarchy. That's right. what I was asking. Yes. Okay. Oh, so no. Okay, my bad. So I'm gonna pay Slide one to move to somewhere. somewhere. Yeah. So where do, would you like to move? Because you knock, that, you knock that person down. So that's two in the third one, and then the fourth one will be... Something. I'll go to Shrey. I agree. Does it matter that he has people there? No. Nope. No, it doesn't matter. Okay. Um, so I get to bump one, yep. and yeah. he goes down that one. Y you, no. Yeah, no, you don't You don't change, change yours. You only change mine. Oh, I bump yours down. Yeah. Okay. Um, well... That's going to give you two points. That will knock a point. I'm going to do um, your your spies down one. Ooh. All right. And then subterfuge bumps that up. Boom, brings him home that. Shrey, two actions. Uh, that's kind of sad. Um, do I need to do that? Well, I'm glad, Matt. So if I do, and then I drop one, I, it doesn't make any sense to do that. So, okay, so I will, before I do anything, I'm just going to use this royal decree, the royal, royal, what is it, tourney? Yep. And discard a three soldier to get three points, because yep. I need to, I wasn't, didn't want to forget that. And then I will spend, I will use the um, task action to subterfuge. Sorry. I don't uh, think sorry means what you think it means. <laughs> <laughs> I will take the anarchy to bump you down on die spy. on uh, intrigue and strength. Hey, because, hey, look, I'm also the impaler. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Treasure's nasty. Okay. And that's it. It is. Jess takes her bluffs back. I take my bluffs back. Martin takes his one bluff back. That's a whole <laughs> lot of waste of time, people. All right, I assume that's a one, Martin? Yep, that'll be a one. So increase trade and knowledge by one. Well done, okay, and three actions. Three actions. Uh, question is, how much of a gamble do I want to take? I'm gonna take a gamble. So it's deploy, caravan, caravan. Mm. Done, all right. Um, it's a one. So everybody, drop your wealth one. Yep. No, I can't. So uh, you get a uh, take your ones back and take five. There you go. Yeah. All right. So three actions. First one will be that for six. One, two, three, four, five, six. It's not bad. No, not terrible. That's one. And honestly, I don't have anything else to do with them. So, I wasn't expecting to go first on this. Uh, 
I will. Moment. I will exchange my Merchant's Guild for the Banker's Guild. And then I'll discard this two for two influence from the attorney. So two influence. And I'm done. Shrey? Um, I will. Sp oh no. All right, it's uh, yeah, it's this one. So I'll spend one of the wealth and the one from there to be a two value uh, task uh, grant. So I put down the soldiers guild. All right, done. That is that. Martin has a two. I have a one, and Shrey has a one. So Martin, three actions. Arms to the pusa. Arms to the pusa. Arms to the pusa. So we'll maybe one on that. One. And, and advance a track. Advance a track. Interesting. Which one? Um, well, Banker's Guild is not going to go off again this go at least, so I could put that one up, but it'll only go down and again anyway. So, um, it's likely to get over a line. Actually, whether we'll go up on the Banker's, I think. All right, my one action is going to be uh, the apprenticeship, which is top deck mystery meat. So now I have a question. So I don't and help me because I'm not going to count on Robin. If I were to spend an action to take an action, which then bumps that back up, could I then spend another action? That's what I haven't thought was his suggestion before, wasn't it? Yeah. No, yeah. I... Yeah. Once didn't you've cross, bumped down you to take line, an anarchy, it's anyone. done. Oh, yeah, sorry, yeah. yeah. Okay, so in that case, I'm done. That's it. Shrey, what um, action? I'm going to... Yeah. I'm going to bump this to get two arms. So, one, two. Uh, arms to the four, arms to the four. <laughs> sir. 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 Or my dad. Two sirs. There we go. Uh, so take that. Oh, God, that hurts. All right. Final round. What have you done to yourself? I, I, I stretched over there for my marker and pulled a muscle on my side. Mm -hmm. uh, there and Jess, five new workplace. Final rule decree. University has been founded. Each player immediately draws two cards from the workforce deck and adds them to their hand. Then each player discards any workforce card from their hand. Spend so draw two. Draw two, put it into your hand, and then discard from your hand. Oh, okay. Nice, okay. So and the queen has survived the entire time. She has. She's a hearty soul. Alright, so first off, we will finish that. Everybody draws two. Okay, keep, bring it into your hand, and then discard one. It was only discard one? Oh, okay. Okay. Mm. Am I going there? That's three points. Oh boy, all right. Okay, uh, that's what we figured, Robin. Thanks. Okay. Um, Eric is so asking this about is the uh, when you can play, when you can discard cards to get stuff. Yeah, do we have, to, have to get? Okay. So here, I'll, 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 while Jess is thinking here, I'll explain this real quick. Whenever you play a soldier, a spy, or merchant to the board, you can, in addition to, you can play any that number of matching problem. cards to be able to do that, including a joker. For the banker action, one of the deploys is just playing those cards, and a scholar is just playing those cards. Drawing the card is a second option for the scholar. That's it. Okay? Hopefully that answers that question. So the other thing... All right. So where are we? We are... Jess is deciding one of them to yeah, discard. Discard okay. it. Okay. 
All right, so a moment. Um, am I still first? You, yes, because you were second yep, on the. Yeah, I was. Uh, yep. Okay. Good. Good. Okay. All right. So now I know I have to take that. to go there to do it. I only need one thing though, right? Mm. Jess? That's not worth the risk. Sorry, calculating risk. <sighs> if I go there, I only need one action. Oh, but it has to be that. Radola. Mm. For commerce, it has to be if trading an opponent's market. Can it? It can't be in your own market, can it? Because it doesn't specifically what? say what not your own say? market. Commerce is what I said. Take yeah. 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 Take take the last line from a market. Last oh, down line. here. If in your own market, okay. Oh, that's too many actions. Okay, so it would be place, move. And then that. Oh, God. But that would solve my problem. Down. One, two, three. That is too risky. Trey? Um, where was I was going to go to? Here. I don't need them. Serious throne of allegory is serious. Seriously. Mm. Darn it. I forgot what I put again. Okay, that's what I put. Actually, no. So risky. Uh, do I try it? Yeah, okay. No, not worth it. Stick with your plan, Jess. Okay. Trying. Okay. Mm, no. All right. So 
So I have a risk, a choice now. I, I so screwed that up. Go big or go home. I think I have to. All right, Jess? Mm. You don't have to keep one. Exactly. Well, no, it's not that. It's what that could have been used for. Yeah. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Is risky. But I think I might need the five points. Potentially eight. So which do I want to do? Fine. Trey. Um, how about there? Okay. Wow. Uh, All right. One. One. I keep the first player for the yes. next game. So I get this, <laughs> and then you get that. Okay, so we do not have to keep any of these. Nope. Nope. It's the game. Yep. I'll keep one. Hand me that, please, because that hurts. Thanks. Um, yeah, sad. That's not, I'm going to keep none. Oh. That's unfortunate. All right, next action. Jess? So the one row is two. It's going to be a one. How many you want, though? You only get to keep one if it's a one. Yeah. You do a two, you get to keep two. I'm okay with that. I'll keep one. The question is... Okay. This is tricky for me, so a moment. Um, which one of these do I use? I think I have to use the Banker's Guild, so I increase my wealth by two. Everybody else drops their wealth by one. I cannot. Oh, I'll take an influence. That was a pleasant thing I did not anticipate. So now, Jess, uh, you cut, and we each can keep one, mm -hmm. but we each choose a bucket. Yeah. So, oh, I suppose that does make a difference. It does. Yeah, it makes a difference when I put places, too. <laughs> uh. Okay. All right. No, mm, that sucks. Yeah. I don't want any. Can I just throw them all away? <laughs> Yes. Mm. Three actions. Oh, God damn. Um. Kind of, Brianna. I could see that. that. Kind of medieval, but less cartoony in this. Hmm. This is just straight medieval, but I, 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 I could see that. So you were really looking forward to this, Brianna. What are your thoughts Can't so far? Can't use those. Can't use those. Okay. Uh, I guess I'll place the guy. Go up one. Um, move. You can move twice and raid for a point. Yeah, do that. One. Move, move, and then drop that down one, and you raid for a point. Done? Mm-hmm. Yeah. One and zero. Okay. Thank you. Mm-hmm. Um, okay, so I guess three actions. That's more than I thought I would get. So first is deploy with four. So it goes to the top, and I have two more actions. So mm. oh, I just realized something. 
I did something correctly. Do you want me to give you a list of all the things I've done correctly? <laughs> <laughs> hmm. <laughs> all right, so, so I spent one action, I can go to Oh, but I don't get a. Oh, I'm so scared. No. Because it doesn't get me. Uh huh. My diplomacy track is already topped out. You're pegged, yes. Yeah. yeah. You will. Alright, so I will not do the other. I could just put two more guys out. Yep. Uh, Got a lot of spies. Yeah, it's a party. It's a party. <laughs> All right. Ain't no sp party like a spy party. Sp spy party is good. All right. Well, I'm curious. Oh wow! Look that at that. Wow. Hmm. So, is it a one or a two, Jess? Well, I can't. Uh, it doesn't make a difference. Yeah. So I can. I get to do the one, which yeah. is nice. And so, which one are you doing? Um. Strength wow, and that's gutting. What? I must gone. admit the final placement of what mine was purely on the basis of third in this. By with his two. <clears throat> wow, that two. hurt. All right, so it's three. And, I mean, that's why I placed all my actions there. It gave me like no other actions, and even gave up on getting the five points on strength because I was like, oh, I'm probably not going to get to use my thing. But don't worry, Shrey's going to kill me in all of about one second. Um, so I need to... Might as well use this. So this guy's going out... Which ones are these? Where's Market. He go? Okay, so we, yeah, I already got people there. But. One out, move one up. Oh, crap. No, I'm not. That's not... Oh, I could use that for an extra action, I guess. So... Mmm, no... Aha! Nope, not going to use that. Move. That's two. Remove. Oh, I can save myself. Oh, thank God. Okay. No, I can only move one. Okay. If I do the trade thing there, I don't have any bad effects, right? In the center? Correct. The only mm -hmm. thing you can't do is trade for victory points for influence. Yeah. It's just a straight... But I get an anarchy if I do it in my own market. Correct. So that's two. I don't have enough. Aha. So yes, when I placed him, I'm going to go up with this. Okay. So you're still at two actions used. You yes. have one action left. I can spend him to do this thing. And which way are you moving it? Oh, shoot. Well, I guess you only have one choice. No. Wait a minute. Place another guy. It's the order of things. Place another guy. That's at three actions, right? Move him, please. The one I just placed. Now I can take another one and take an anarchy. Does that give me enough? There's one, two, three. I need to get my trade down, so don't mind me as I figure out how to do this. You drop your trade down one, and you put your commerce up two, or your uh, wealth up two. In the trade. And that would cost this guy. Mm -hmm. Is that what you were trying to do? Yep. Is it? Yep. All right. I answered you. Okay. Okay, so that's me. I get one comma section, which I will take. I will lose that, drop that down, and score me two 
victory points and give um, a trade point to Jess. Who probably would have liked to have had that trade point earlier on, but you went, th you went third. No, I actually, that's where I dumped those. I need to have zero trade. Oh, <sighs> okay. <laughs> but that was even better. Yep. Um, and then I will do a deploy, which will cost, which is an extra action. So I will deploy into my thing and allow me to play the Joker, which will knock it back up too. Which will allow me to do another action, which will be another commerce action, giving Jess another commerce um, point and giving me another two victory points. A little of a tangled plan and not at all as good as I was kind of hoping for, but hey, I took a gamble. It was long odds. Oh, believe me, it was really good for you. Cost me like eight points. <laughs> Excellent job. Well, I played a two and I get one action. This is terrible. <laughs> oh my god. I'll put one out. Oh. That'll be three. One, two, three. I'll put one out. I'm not playing any more cards. Be scoring at least one on the influ on the knowledge track and have at least two merchants in the territories. That's the wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, that was that, right? Yes. Wow. Done. Oh, that hurts so bad. All right. Get my bluff back. Uh, I think that's. Oh, wait, that's that one. What do you want it to be, man? Oh, I need the wealth. So. Uh, Yep. Oh, taking an awesome. influence from me. Oh, that hurts so bad. What? You lost one point? I lost eight. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> Didn't hurt so bad. No, you're right. You know. Okay, I get three actions. Well, that's nice. Well, I will do a deploy to spend three. It actually puts my one, two, three. I'm at nine at cost. Yeah. How's that? Good. And then I might as well just use. Oh. Well, I could use caravans as boy, it's not too interesting. So in which case, I will pull another guild out that will wow. give me a couple of points. <laughs> and I don't really care which guild it is. Well, actually, I might. Nine so, points that cost me, right there. Up against Bank Banker's guild up there. Yep. Yeah, I think so. Okay. Good. Pretty good. Well, that's me. I will just... Glory to Rome Shrey. Or who was it that moved our tracks down? It was Shrey already. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you can put up one up for me, too. Oh, you, so say it. you could put one up for me as well, possibly, but uh, he say cost it. me a few points as well. Oh. Well, I didn't hear it, so, all right. So I'm putting, I'm adding two to my wealth. That's it. But Shrey's pretty much wrapped this game up anyway. Uh-huh. Well, Let's see. That lot, times yep. five. Yeah. <laughs> That's been the case if it's been, call, I call, should have called that a while ago. All right, one or two. Uh, oh, good question. Actually, can I cause Shrey some inconvenience by uh, going first? Or yeah, actually, it's a two. Yeah. Okay. So, not that that will inconvenience Shrey very much, but all right, three actions. Arms of Pusa, arms of Pusa, arms of Pusa. Nice. And I'm already maxed out on that track, and I didn't realize that when I I thought I would get rid of this, but I can't. So I will, I have two, right? So I will draw one and hope it's blue, it's not. I'll just draw another one, and I'll be done. <laughs> oh good, so it didn't actually do you any good to... Nope. nope. That, that was a wasted action, that's fine. Play that for one. 
That's my one action. Then I'll spend one for alms for the poor, sir. Which then allows me to do the educate and alms action in the same turn. Ooh. Well, I ain't really familiar with that. That's good. Oh, no. Don't worry. I'm going to... Yep, it's not pretty. Five, <laughs> um, it could be worse. You could be in my position. <laughs> done. That's it. Yeah. All right. So the, it. the the queen dies. Then <gasps> does she? The queen is dead. <laughs> yep. She lays down. There we go. All right. So we go into final scoring. Boy, this is not going to be pretty. It's going to be entertaining though. So there's that. All right. So here we go. All right, so guild cards. How many cards? Everybody has two cards played to their tableau, meaning yep. these down here. So everyone's going to score four. Yep. It's a dead heat. So far. In-game claims cards. So your blue cards, the positives. What would you get, Shrey? Eleven. Eleven. Martin? No. Jess? Four. Uh, and I got three, four, five, six... Eight. And then your end game claims. So we'll start with Jess. Oh, um, scored three. So uh, influence from the strength track. So Done. Five. Okay. Be further along the wealth track than the trade track. Nope. So okay. minus three. Um, have at least three merchants in territories. So yes. So five. So, so ten points. Okay. No, seven points because there's a minus. Shrey? Uh, yeah, the minus three scored on a separate line. Um, oh, okay. So score at least three influence from the wealth track, which is here. Uh, score five influence on the alms track, or be further along the alms track, so just be on top of that, and have more spies in territories than you have soldiers. I have zero soldiers, so 15. Martin? Be further along the knowledge track than the strength track for five. Be further along the knowledge track than the wealth track for five. And then score of three influence in the trade track, so score all three 15, please. Just remember where these are. Okay. So we have uh, score at least three influence on the knowledge track. That's pegged out, so that's good. Uh, score at least one influence from at least four town tracks. I got that one. And then uh, score at least two influence from the wealth track. Checks out. Yep, got that. Oh, and score the same influence from the trade track. Nope. Because somebody wah, bumped me down wah. there. So that would be uh that'd be ten. Okay, and then I didn't, get, <laughs> I didn't get that. And then because my two bid ended up third, the magnificent I am not, I couldn't get four merchants because I was two actions short. So that'd be minus six. Cute. And Jess is over here whining about her minus however many. <laughs> All right. So put those there, that there. All right. So diplomacy track. So uh, Jess or Martin. Uh, no, one, one time zero is yeah. zero. I deliberately decided to Jess? not go for the in-game cards at all. All right. Times two, two times how many cards? Three. Six points. Um, I have one, two, three, four, five times five. That's twenty-five. Oh, who is um? Hold on. I guess. <laughs> <Shrey? laughs> oh. I heard some complaints. I know yeah. There's something about me whining. I mm. <laughs> the alms track. Everyone but me got five. Still complaining. Which we score this. Did I get bupkis? Anarchy track. Oh, hold on. Shrey loses one. <laughs> As do I. Okay, minus one. Yes, minus one, zero, zero. Let's do some quick mathing. So, J Rex, you're looking at 18 minus three is 15, 20, 26 minus one, 25. It's not ideal. Um, no, that's. Did no, I? The influence nah. tokens are the, the, these guys. Oh, shoot. I, I yeah. Hold on. It's 25 plus. Oh, hold on. Let me. I, I missed that. Mm. Thank you. Uh, so, I have three. So, there. Uh, Martin, how many do you have? 14. That, that's strong. Shrey? Six. Jess? Eleven. Also strong, so that would be 36 for Jess. I apologize, I just missed the line. Uh, then we have 15, 30, 55, 
66 minus 65. Ooh. I like your chances. Mm -hmm. uh, Martin, you're looking at 20, 34, 38. 25, 35, 29, 37, 44. Solid middle. All right. And now our tracks. So, Jess, what do you have? Um, Top to bottom. Give me numbers. Three for strength. One for intrigue. Second one. Yep. Spies. Um, zero for trade, minus one for wealth, and zero for scholar. I take it back. I was wrong. Yeah. Shrey. Uh, negative one, five, zero, five, zero. So that is, uh, so Too you much. got nine on that. And Jess got three. And Martin? Two, zero, five, zero, five. That's 12. You're going to score the most. So I'm looking at uh, minus 1, uh, 1, 3, 2, and 5, 10. All right. So 54 for me, 50 for Martin, 39 for Jess, 74 for Shrey. <laughs> Thanks for showing up, everybody. <laughs> Not named Shrey. Not named yeah. Shrey. Why did we Woo! even bother? All right. Exactly. I could have almed one more time to move up the soundtrack. Yeah, oh. No, but you would have taken a minus because the scholar you would have had to bump down, right? And then, yeah, but it would have actually gotten me eight more points, but it doesn't yeah, matter. I wouldn't have won. But yeah, Robin brings up a good point that I could have almed one more time to. Um, to move up a town track, yeah. which then would have got my wealth up, so that actually would have saved me some. Yeah, and points, it's important on that note to keep track of what people have used that are in their guilds. That's yep. why mm -hmm. I was actually yep. taking an anarchy to move down my trade really, really far, because even with Shrey doing what he was going to do to me, I would have been fine. It was Martin's pluses right. that made it that bad. Um, I'm glad one of us played well tonight, <laughs> uh, so well done. Uh, the rest of us, um, less so. So there's that. No, uh, there you go. So that is Throne of Allegoria. Robin, thank you for both designing the yeah. game as mm -hmm. well as Being joining chat, yeah. uh, nice you. and hanging out with us. I know it's super late. I think you're still over in Denmark, I think. Um, so, yeah, it's awfully late, so thanks for hanging with us. Everybody else, thank you for watching and joining us. Hopefully, we have helped you guys make a decision on whether or not this is going to be a good game for you and your game group. Um, yeah, this is available at Spiel. I think it might still be available for pre-order. I'm not sure. Um, yeah, there you go. Oh, 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 oh. Going to read out his, his oh he does. Hold yes. on. title. Exactly. Okay. So it's going to be long because yeah. all yeah. those. Um, <laughs> I feel like this is a uh, a, a title like from uh, Game of Thrones. Yeah, I got to put them in a reasonable order. There we go. That's a reasonable order. <laughs> I mean, okay. it's the man's title, so here okay. we go. Mm -hmm. So, so I, I read these first, and then the. I think that's the way to do it, right? Go with it. All right. I'm the August, the popular, the fortunate, the fearless, the tyrant. The Impaler, the Devil, the Unavoidable, the Lady of House Umbral. <laughs> That's awesome. Incredible. That's really well done. Nice. All right, so there you go. Uh, I will be back on Sunday with Jeff and Joe for High Frontier 4th Edition, the core game. Um, that's going to be a big one. So, uh, so hopefully uh, you guys join us with that, and then we're gone. We're out to uh, Spiel uh, after that for the next week. So check out the podcast. Uh, don't forget to like and subscribe down below. You can support the show, as a couple of the folks did, over on PledgeHC.com. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I will see you guys on Sunday, and then it'll be uh, not off, but not on screen for about a week and a half after that. So I'm Edward. I'm Jess. I'm Shrey. I'm Martin. All right. You guys have a wonderful evening. Take care. Thanks for the butt whooping, Shrey. <laughs> yeah. Good night, everybody. And Shrey, you've got to adjust your Slack title to put all of that in. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, right. Seriously. I, uh, we can make that happen. Well done. Well done.